No Gods or Kings, only video games. Welcome, everybody, to the, the sixth annual Run Button Game of the Year Awards podcast show. This can't be the sixth it's annual. That doesn't make line. sense. Yeah, there's no way it's six. If, no, if you, you include Complex Rockets? I'm including Complex Rockets as the sixth one. God, I still think Complex Rockets is a, is a great name. No. Yeah, no, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's not a. It's not a good. Yeah, it's bad. Run button is a good one. Yeah, I like run button. It that was the have... one I originally suggested, and you guys shot it down, and then we went with complex rockets. I, unfortunate choice. Here's the thing. Here's what. Here's run button doesn't have the best SEO ever. It's pretty good. Here's the thing. I will vanity search run button on Twitter, and we'll get a bunch of people talking about run button and Sonic and Mario, but not us because they're talking about physical run buttons and it's very strange wait do we still is run button have the official kiwi run button logo no we got rid of that Uh that's still on our podcast it's gonna be going soon basically we've been having somebody who's been working on a new logo for us but they've been doing it for free and it's taken like a year uh we're very appreciative but the thing is it's like so everyone else to everyone else we just have a logo but to to me our current logo has been our old shitty logo for the past year, and every time I look at it, I'm I'm mad a little bit. Is that the kiwi yeah. one? Um, no, no, no. It's the it's the R. And it's the like B. an R B in oh. a circle. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's Courtney just like Courtney basically just did exactly what the Complex Rockets logo was, which was just C R, except yeah. now it's R B. Um, Is she still working on the new logo? Who's working on the new logo? Uh, it's. It's somebody. It's a guy with a hundred names. Probably sh- no. It's it's he's got he's got one name. I, I just know, don't think I should the, say it. it uh, seems, you don't want to pimp him out on the internet. Seems a little rude a little to shout just... out. Some people don't like it. I can't. I can't. Out. Yeah, I can't do that. I've I've given people shout outs before and had them be like, "Hey, can you not shout me out?" And I'll be like, "All right, fine. Let me edit this now." Okay. Um, which is you know I don't not I don't begrudge those people. It's just not a thing that I understand. Seems a little. Oh, Andy's very quiet. Am I? This is what Why? I was trying to say earlier, Hello? and you guys were like, "Everything's cool. well." I think Remember Andy's quiet? just quiet in general, no, but not. we is this switched the direction mics. that it should be. Facing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's cool. Okay. I just, I think that because look at me, I'm also much more quiet than I you can't. are right now, Kyle. Is this going live? Is this live? No, this isn't live. Why isn't it live? Why would it be live? Because I mean, I know that your experience with Run Button is mostly us doing things live, but we almost never do that. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say almost never. I mean, it could be live. It I could, could push a button and then it's live, but I don't want to push that button. Right. That's, I like it when it's live. I like when it's not live. I like when it's not live, too. It's kind of fun with the chats. Yeah, we're used to it. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm not. You can come. We're doing... Should mention this. This is important to mention. January 30th into 31st, we're doing another 24-hour, possibly plus long live stream marathon, so you could show up during that. And I'm not sure if important is we, the word I would use. <laughs> It's very important. It's very important. It's very important. Yeah, it's very important. How are we gonna how are we gonna fucking eat if I we don't of, do this? I think of like like rising health prices, like that's important. Like we should rising control health those prices? healthcare prices. Oh healthcare prices. I could have chosen a better specific. But well that's this what is I important chose. on did a you smaller not, level. Did you not hear me us. at the beginning? What? Only video games. Oh sorry. No gods are kings. We're we're here to talk about the best <laughs> games of twenty fourteen. Yeah. Um I gotta say, kind of a bunk year. See kinda like a kinda, you, like, a, kinda you, like a floppy saggy year for video games. Just right. saying. I think we've gotta reel it in. I think that we have to say that this is Andy Short, our fucking stupid friend that, oh, yeah. that, that didn't show up out him he didn't show up enough. To be in run button. Andy Andy has literally been welcome for every single time we've ever recorded a run button thing and, and has I, only showed up like twice. I so appreciate that. I've now I've showed up for like three or four or five run you never, button. Things. This is the first time you've been here. Since, That's true. You know what? You the, were since the rebranding. You were on half a Halo Let's Play, so right. thank you. I had to fucking finish that for you. You're welcome. Well, I'm still going to finish it someday. You can't uh, it's already, it's already done. done. Question. Yes. Uh, when was because Complex Rockets? I was integral. I will. Yeah, you will remember. You were number yeah. two on Complex. When Rockets. was the rebranding? Oh. What year? Uh, it was. It was a little bit over three years ago. It okay. was. Uh, yeah, twenty eleven. It was November twenty eleven. Mm. No. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I feel foolish now due to your internet fame. Yeah, we're yeah. very popular. No, we're not. Um, fairly, we're like, we do. Okay. We're pretty popular. We're popular, popular okay. enough. Uh, hi. Hey. Hey. Pleasure um, to be here as your favorite third seed. You guys have a, a almost an unexplicable affection for me, though. The ye- you got to admit, 
I mean, it's completely inexplicable. <laughs> <It is> completely <laughs> there's inexplicable. no explanation you can't for it. it. There's no reason of there. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason why we should still want you here yeah. ever. I mean, I've been flaky to the point of I, I would say visceral anger. Yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, there was some visceral anger, <laughs> and I so appreciate being welcome back. You remember that first time when we. Uh, we scheduled our first 24-hour marathon specifically around what schedule was convenient for you, and then you didn't show up. Uh, I showed up for a couple of hours. No, no, you didn't. You did not show up for the entire thing. Uh, no. You were not there at all. See, I kind of want—I want to get it all out here, so then we can move. We can make. All not right. only that, not Name only that, it, move but on. all of our all of our plans to get more than just us on that fell apart in a weird, weird way. Your friends, no, John showed up, John, and John your weird show friends showed up, but Not, all but together and it. super high. You, yeah, they were all supposed to come at different times. Excellent, but instead, so that we would have people in, to in talk like to. classic in a classic pothead move. They all just were like, "Wait, well, we're all going to the same place. Let's just go together." And they just walked in like super high and didn't say anything. Right, it was awful. They're the worst, silly dummies. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm never high. 2014 video. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's good for you. Uh, I like your shirt, Andy. It's nice. a there's a squirrel. There's a little squirrel, and under it says comedy, mm-hmm. and that's fun. Pretty self explanatory 2014 video games. 20- Do you have any general thoughts about video games this year, other than that it was of uh, far less quality than most years? I disagree I, with you. I disagree. I look and back. The general sentiment. I mean, Kyle is clearly co-opting the general internet sentiment that this year was bad for video games. It was. But I have my own opinion, and if I'd like to say that now. Maybe. But you go, you'd go. say your opinion. I thought it was a fine year. <laughs> well, this is because, Andy, this is because you, this is the first year you've played any video games. Yeah, well, I, to fair. be fair, we've played them all before, like, but I always like I the, always... this is the first year that you've played any video games, and your list is still shorter than my list. And I'm going, oh my god, I didn't play any video games this year. But I still have, I still pick, I still play the good, the like the best games from like other Mo- years. Yeah, like, most, I, I, most I of the time. I rarely go a year without at least getting like yeah. the top two or three that's, games on there. That's sure, you know that's I mean? pretty true. But I mean, I remember last year. I, I actually went back and looked at all my personal game of the year lists for like since we started doing this. And it was pretty clear, like, you know, like, fucking 2009 had, like, ODST and Modern Warfare 2 and Assassin's Creed 2 and, like, Street Fighter 4, like... Yeah, my list looks nothing like that this year. I I remember uh, last year thinking that 2013 was, like, kind of like a poop year for video games. Like, that list was, like, Saints Row 4, Bioshock Infinite, Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds. There's some good stuff on there. Can I make my case? I'm on your side. First of all, strike Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, uh, I agree. No, that's I'm side. no. I mean, I'm this is fucking insane. Fucking games. Keith was the only one that wanted it on there, and it was his game of the year or something. No, it ended like, up being number three on our list, and I just just twenty was, minutes ago put it on the screen, and he went, oh, "I wish Bioshock Infinite wasn't on that list." Here, yeah, fuck no, you. I'm not saying I'm not saying that I wasn't wrong. I was wrong. Here's the other thing, though. Bioshock Infinite was higher on the main list than it was on my list due to some weird list politics that happened. Wait, wait, wait. It was Wasn't three that, on our was list. Was last year the year when like I was on like yes. remotely and you yep. guys fucking raped uh-huh. that list after I left? Hold on. All- <laughs> Strike that. Wow. Just excuse my use That's- of the word rape. Yo, Andy. <laughs> Andy. Andy. <laughs> Andy, you've been gone for the internet for a, for a while. It's changed a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. That game it's a did. nice I'm sorry, place guys. that is just, it's... Run button's like a nice, it's like a warm, friendly hug. Let's ri- Let's raise the culture here a little bit. Pillaged, the okay. list. Pillaged okay. is a good word for what happened after I left. Sure. You, we, so, had a, we had an agreed upon list, uh-huh. and then we, I was like, okay, like I had like literally the one thing I wanted. I forget, I don't even remember what it was. It was, it was fucking, fucking ridiculous, ridiculous fishing. fishing. Yeah, the one thing I wanted in, in the game. whole fucking list, and I left, and you guys were just like, hey. Hey, let's whisper needlessly, even though Andy's not here anymore. It was and switch this whole thing it around. It was really so funny. literally it everything was, is gone. Because I was here's the the bit was that I was Don't your leave. biggest supporter in getting it, and then you left, and then as soon as you were gone, I turned coat. Now, yeah, no, I knew the. It bit. was a good bit. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Let's it was, <laughs> all right. Let's let's be fair here, okay? okay? Yeah, it was super uncool to do, but. Your the things that you were insisting upon were terrible. No, they also, no, they you. You could not. You could not have been bothered to even be stationary. Yeah, as you I, heard on the podcast, I had to attend a therapy appointment. I'm sorry for prioritizing my health. Okay, but you were the apology one that not accepted. <laughs> 
Hey, you're going to cut that thing I said earlier, right? Maybe. Please. Which which thing? The thing about your wanna... girlfriend that you're not in no, love with? both of those or would the... be fun. Okay. I know I am in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're the worst. <laughs> Andy, what are you doing? Get out of there, Andy. We're in love. Uh, I got So here's All my right. argument for 2014. All is right. that there were some, I think, I think 2014 is largely colored by the incredible disappointments that occurred it in people's was, minds yeah. in that really those disappointments didn't re- have a huge impact We're on talking like about their, Watch their Dogs. gaming lives. We're talking about Unity. Destiny. Yeah, like, We're talking about Kyle loves Destiny. Like, I think Destiny's bunk. Silly. But I don't love it as much as I was expecting to right. love it. Okay. It's still a disappointment. So like, like Destiny and Watch Dogs, two games that I think a lot of people were pegging as like possible game of the years, yeah. like hopefully, maybe. Uh, and they ended up being like, like Watch Dogs was a poop from a butt. A lot of people think Destiny is a poop from a butt. I disagree, but you know, see, but the, it's my, certainly not for everybody. My thing is like there were a lot of those disappointments, like Assassin's Creed Unity and like Watch Dogs, where yeah. I was like, well, I of course those are going to be bad. Like I didn't see anything well, indicating that they would be good. Yeah, I knew. I was very hopeful that Watch Dogs would pull something out. I knew Unity was going to be bad. Like that was like, oh my god, a bad Assassin's Creed game, shocker. That's only been happening for five years. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, people really liked Black Flag. A game that I which a game that was not very good. The, it was an sure. expansion. I have not it played was, it. Yeah, I have not yeah. played it because I knew that I would not enjoy it, and I don't want. I don't want another. I don't want another thing to make me be like, oh, I remember old Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Like, I don't want to yeah. have to do that again. If, if I I'm, would, I, if you can find a way to play for cheap, it's still like the. To be fair, like the ship stuff is really fun in that game. Like yeah. it really legitimately is. Yeah, sure. It feels feels good uh, to kind of take this home for me. I think I think this year was. It had a lot of really high quality games, and I think almost every game I chose to play that was like recommended by just reviews and shit uh, were fun. And right, like, were yeah. re- I had a really good time with. There we're, weren't there weren't the highs I think of some years. Like there wasn't like a like even like Dragon Age didn't quite hit like Skyrim or like yeah. you know Bioshock or whatever you want to pick like out of your hat. But like. Mm-hmm. I thought it was my great motto. I thought it was yeah, sure. My, <laughs> I thought it was a great year for games. There's there were also, great games I, that came out this year. There also was like more this year than ever were just like any like just a fucking hundreds of thousands of like free and pay what you want games that were yeah, all super that's cool. True. Yeah. And like don't get me wrong, I love every game on my list. Mm. Me too. You know, I love almost every game on my list. See, it was a weird <laughs> year for me. Like this I for one thing, I definitely played fewer new games this year than any year like since i've had a job to buy games for myself uh, see right? i was the opposite but that's only because i got a real yeah. job yeah and again we both played more games than you <laughs> and this is the most but and like this is my point i have three games on my list that were free like they were just literally just free they weren't even pay what you want this is this is like the weirdest list i've ever made like i yeah me too i can guarantee that andy has not even heard of my game of the year what? Yeah. Wow. I bet Andy's that's, not even heard of my game of the year. So I hadn't heard of it until someone told me about it. Like, anyways, let's get I'm into already it. mad about this. Do I know list. about it? There yeah. Okay. You know what you know Andy might have heard about it for a specific reason, but he might have just forgotten. Okay. Um let's get into it here. Let's get into it. Do, we, do we any doing... of you guys have special lists? This is a thing that we used no. to do more specifically, but I did make one, and I'll try to be quick about it. Yeah, you can do your special list. This is uh, Kyle Churchill's uh, top five why am I doing this games of 2014. These are, these are older <laughs> games, actually, I should say. Um, one I, I didn't even bother to order them, but one of them was Goldeneye. <laughs> For, I actually I played all the way through Goldeneye on like the second difficulty up and I did enjoy it but it was like a really weird thing where I would be playing it and I'd be like this is hard and stupid why am I doing this like I just kept asking myself why I was doing it wow. but then anytime I found myself not playing it I wanted to, to go back and keep playing it again so that was a weird one uh, Ghosts and Goblins for the NES I heard was like a good game and I played it and liked it and I I just I kept playing it and it was so hard Can and I, I inter- couldn't beat it. Can and then I, I found out that most people think it's a poop from a butt. And I was like, oh, I feel like I got tricked Did into this, thinking this was good. A couple questions. Did this happen because you got this device here, this new? S- S- no. no. There was a okay. So I've when we started doing our Mario Let's Play, I was kind of looking in. You guys are doing Mario. Oh, you didn't know? We're yeah, playing we're, all the Mario games. We've been doing it for a long time. We're Holy at Yoshi's Island right is, now. Are there more or less Marios than Sonic? Oh, way, way more. more. Like four times more. I imagine it's a much more pleasurable overall experience. Though. No. No. Really? <sighs> it's a lot more boring. 
Well, hmm. it all the Mario games are way longer than Sonic games, for one thing. And I guess there aren't as many, like, shitty, fun surprises exactly. as Sonic will. Well, actually, uh, there are a lot of, like, fun, shitty side games, like... Mario's early years, fun with numbers. One of the one of excuse me, yeah. yeah. One of the best things to come, come out of it was uh, was Mario's time machine. Mario's time machine. It's a it's an edutainment game where Mario goes back in time and to bothers learn. historical figures. <laughs> like as Mar, you go see this please video. We me, go. Please tell me Abraham Lincoln has been introduced to the Mario franchise. He's. Uh, I would almost say that he's certainly in there, but we didn't get to. We that saw part. Joan of Arc. We saw. We saw uh, a person. Yeah, another person. Joan of Arc, Beethoven. Beethoven. Uh, or was it Mozart? It was Beethoven. In, uh, oh, we saw uh, Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison. Uh, he's a bad dude. Uh, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin or Franklin? Thomas Jefferson or both. Maybe it was, it was one of the... It was some fucking founding father jerk off. Um, Socrates? Socrates. Seems like a strong opinion about the founding fathers. God's not... God, not gods are concerned. Sir Isaac um, Newton. What a... Uh, Wait, Sir Isaac Newton made a note, uh, uh, an was aside, ne- You're right, it was about how Mario's jump seemed to defy his law of gravity. That's a good joke. That's a good bit. Where did you get this poop from a butt phrase? You, you're, this is new. It's just... No, it's not new. for a little while. I, I don't know why. You've I just, just been kind it. of both doing it, Kyle, more than me for a little while. Mm-hmm. For a long time, actually. An it's important going on for a while. Oh, sorry. For... When I say a little while, I meant a long time. A yep. long time. Yeah. More games. games. We've been doing it for a while. Um, Andy, you were on the live stream for this, but you probably didn't even pay attention. But I played the original Hitman this year. Mm -hmm. So I love Hitman, Blood Money, and Absolution. And then I got the trilogy that also has two and three in it. And I was just like, well, I have all these Hitman games. I should play the first one. I should play the first Hitman game. And that game is fucking terrible, but I played the whole thing for some reason. Like an idea. you You can see on the live stream... I was do like I was following a video walkthrough to the letter of just watching someone play a level and then trying to do that exact same thing and it still took like hours for every level. It was so hard. What a weird bad game. I don't know why I did that. Or why they made a sequel. List. Um Dragon Warrior App Dragon Warrior probably wouldn't be on there, but that's a weird game that's only grinding. Is this in any particular order or are these just five games you were like No, Glad? it's it's not in order. Okay. Though uh Hitman was probably number one. Hitman would be number one on the list. Uh, I also... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Okay. Right. It is it is the number one game that I most questioned why I did it, but I did it. And then there was Final Fantasy 1 for the NES. That is a game that is broken. Like, that's just... Mm. is one of the first console JRPGs ever made, and that game is just fucked up. Like, uh, you get to pick who's in your party. Keith wanted... To, I put... I, I made it, like, me and Keith... And Phil and Dylan, because they were on the stream with us. Who are they? Uh, they're people. That's not. Don't yeah. don't even worry about I it. Hate them. Uh, yeah, everyone hates them. Yeah, let's be honest. Worst. I mean, they're they're barely better than I mean, you. Phil and Dylan are just terrible names. First mm-hmm. of all, yeah, they're pretty bad names. Phil and yeah, Phil and yeah, don't they like are Phil ins for me. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Keith wanted to be a thief, so I picked a thief. And like in Final Fantasy, thief is a class that's literally broken. It will never be good at e- better at anything than another class is. That was weird that you did that. It was an accident, mostly. So like, like the the best team in Final Fantasy is if you just do all fighters. Like fighters are basically gods, and then like a thief is just like a shitty fighter that can't do anything. Which is the king class. But it, what? Which is the king? You said they're gods. This is a gods and king episode. Gods and kings. Um, a great reference. Black belt there. might be a king. I don't know. I didn't have a black belt. Like Keith. Keith was literally a useless baby to me in my party until Sorry. I was like thirty-five hours into the game. At which point he became. <laughs> somewhat useful and then i finished the game like five hours later now was this a two-player game or did you name someone keith? no he, keith was just like a character in my party okay yeah gotcha. yeah uh yeah i could we we should move on i could talk for hours about how bad final fantasy one is should it's, i don't can no. i start with my number 10 game yeah go are for you gonna it. write Andy, down all Andy's, the games and we're gonna kind of um, call from that list yes i'm doing that Great. yeah so give me a second here all right. all right i didn't know andy was going first but glad he just decided that he no, was no. do we did you want to go first I don't care. Can I do some honorable mentions? Yes. Um, I will give Sunset Overdrive an honorable mention. Okay. That's a good honorable mention. I uh, that- so honorably mentioned. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, 
maybe just a quote for the box. Good game. Uh huh. Could have been better. Could have been better. Yep. Well, could have been better. D- didn't play it, but I got that impression. Yep. Um, from the two seconds I saw Keith play can, it. Hey, can we stop the thing of making uh, open world games that are thirty hours long? That could be ten. Can we stop doing that? We could stop doing Thank that. Thank you guys. Yeah, hey, you know what? I like the Done. suggestion. Uh, Let's stop doing that. Slash. Uh, I believe the subtitle for that would be the reason Alien Isolation was a bad game. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Here's the thing about Sunset Overdrive is that it's so much fun to just fucking move around. I didn't. I didn't play it's Alien great. Isolation, but yeah, it was like I. Part of it sounded really awesome, but then the other parts sounded the bad. The thing that was so frustrating, like, I didn't play it either, to be, so I can't really I bought it and played 90 minutes of opinion. it, and I haven't gone back yet, not because it was specifically bad, but because I didn't have time and there was other stuff that I wanted to do. Well, my, my impression was that there were problems with that game, but that really, like, the biggest problem was that it was just 30 hours too long. You can't maintain tension. I didn't realize it was that long. It's too much. Uh, I'm going to give threes well, an honorable mention. Sorry, let me let me interrupt for one second yeah. forget forget pacing or tension like i don't have fucking time to play that no. anymore yeah. i'm I, now officially a, an adult with a life and a family i don't have 30 hours to play your silly horror i will game. do that for one maybe two games a year and i did that i did yeah. play more than 30 hours, but not more than that yeah you know? exactly um i also do threes uh great game couldn't have been better i'm seeing yeah Alien i was Isolation. i was obsessed i was obsessed with that game for seven days and then i never wanted to look at it again yeah. which game Threes. Uh, threes. threes. I'm seeing uh, Alien Isolation, main story, 18 hours, completion is 33 hours on how long to beat. Okay. It's still, it's still it's too much. Uh, g- uh, quick, quick award didn't happen this year, but how long to beat is like the site that the internet has needed since the internet started. Are you aware of that is site? Is that not a thing? No. Howlongtobeat.com. You just go there. People enter how long it took them to beat video games, and then it like averages them out, and yeah. you can see how long games are. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, my last one I will mention will be uh, Thomas Was Alone. Very okay. cute game. Very didn't, cute. Yeah, it didn't it come cute. out this year. Didn't? didn't? No. It came well, out certain like platforms. Three years ago. iOS. Certain platforms. Okay. okay. I didn't even know iOS. it was on iOS. Yeah. Uh, and uh, fuck Shovel Knight. Anyway. Um, we were so... actually, uh, we were on, or maybe Keith wasn't, but we Keith and I were part of like a live stream that featured different people. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I, w- we had our own section and then I guessed it on f- one of Phil's sections and I actually got to have a pretty phil long kohler? A pr- yeah phil kohler you guys are like internet famous i got to i got to have a pretty long discussion with um mike bethel the guy that made uh that game i don't remember anymore thomas was alone thomas was alone seriously nice guy it was a lot of fun that's awesome yeah you uh cool. wow I'm very impressed guys why we're impressed but just i didn't know that we're we're, we're impressed that people. you're people. reaching uh, we're impressive people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're reaching internet heights mm-hmm. and i'm proud of both of you yeah, yeah. i and guess i guess it's weird to have someone who's not used to how impressive we are <laughs> yeah yeah most people yeah, that most no, people we walk around well, like, like people bow down as we walk through i think well yeah. i think the reason is because i know you on a personal level mm-hmm. so i know how terrible both of you are in your different <laughs> ways <laughs> that makes sense yeah i'm not terrible uh no you're not you're great my I'm number great. 10 game of the year oh what is it fibbage yeah. yeah. Write it down. Right. All right. This is going to be weird. That's going to... Okay. No, Fibbage. Fibbage. You don't like Drawful more than Fibbage? What? Here's the thing. You, you haven't played Drawful? No. Drawful's We're going like to play Fibbage, Drawful. But better. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. So it's made by the same people. So mm-hmm. they were actually released on like Xbox One and PS4. It's a pack called the Jackbox Party Pack. Why did I just draw by Fibbage by itself? It came out by itself earlier, I think. Oh, weird. But yeah, so Fibbage is a game where you all play with multiple people. The game asks a question. Everyone submits their own fake answer. And then it displays all the fake answers on screen in addition to the real answer. And, and one every- of their fake answers. Sometimes. Which you can lose extra points yeah. if you pick. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And then every- yeah, everyone has to pick which one they're right. You get points. You get points both for picking the right answer and for how many people you get to pick your wrong answer. Mm-hmm. And um, that was released in a pack with You Don't Know Jack 2015 and Drawful and two other bad games. But Drawful is great. It's like the same idea. Everyone gets uh, a phrase that they have to draw on their phone, like Pictionary. And then and like that takes like a couple minutes. So everyone does their own all at once. And then in sequence, you go through, it shows the picture on screen Then everyone puts in their own fake description and then it shows them on screen. And everyone has to pick which one they think is the real picture. To me, it's just amazing that they got it to work on a online. Like it's incredible. Like I had eight people over all connected to my Xbox. Yeah. With iPhones over the internet and it worked seamlessly. It was like, it's, it's perfect. And we actually did this because 
the using your phone as a controller goes through the internet. It just you just go to Jackbox.tv and like enter in the code. We actually were able to play Fibbage and Drawful on a stream. Like me and Nicole were here playing, and and like everyone else that we were playing with was like watching us on Twitch. Oh, really? And like they were able to join in. It was super cool. That's really cool. And that yeah. game becomes exponentially more fun as you add people. Yeah, it, yeah, it does. Great. Um, it, this was a good. I feel like this year had a lot of good examples of like little mechanics that just worked really tight and worked mm-hmm. really well. Like that threes, like a lot of mobile yeah. games locked into that. Can I? Can I? Uh, yeah, never mind. Yeah. I, 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 I have a feeling Jackbox Party Pack is not on my game of the year list, but I have a feeling I'm going to regret that in the future. Mm. Anyways, go. Uh, are we going to go down my list or are we going to go 10? No, no, no go no, down no. your list. Go down your list. All right. Number nine, Titanfall. Okay. Uh, you know, for the one month that I played it, that was, uh, I had a lot of fun with that game. I wish I still wanted to play it. Yeah, I, I kind of missed it because at the time, like, I don't really like playing games on my PC anymore. It's not convenient for me um, in my new life here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I didn't have an Xbox One. Why is that? Talk about that, Kyle. It's just, you know, I used to I used to exist only in my bedroom at my parents' house where my computer was my TV and my living room and everything, and now it's very much not the case. Okay. So, like, playing a PC game is a, supremely inconvenient for me. Um, and I didn't have an Xbox One, and I didn't want to play the shitty version on 360, so I just ended up, like, not playing it. What do you have, a PS4? Yeah. I have one. Yeah, I, I had a PS4 at the time, so yeah. Okay. And any other thoughts about Titanfall? Nope, nothing. It was, All right, great. It's weird. Like, I hate when people are like, oh, that's a game that everyone's just going to play for a month and then drop it. Because I'm like, yeah. don't tell me how I'm going to feel. Internet. Wait about Titanfall. Like, shut up. Yeah, I fucking I, love Titanfall. But I totally felt that way. I totally played it for a month and was yeah. like, "Well, this is getting too hard. Gotta go." I I didn't I played it for a few months, but also those few months were some of the most fun that I've had in a multiplayer shooter See, in years. The thing I hate I hate about online multiplayer shooters is that thing of like it gets so hard because yeah. people get so good. Because yeah. like for me, well, I need like a good middle class. Like for Halo Three, the reason I was able to hang with that game for yeah. so long is because of how like, well they match me. Yeah, as well, long as the how, matchmaking is good. Yeah, how well they match made and how good like there was a nice like middle class of skill where like people were just like okay okay and like right. it was fun to play with those people, yeah here's know? the thing about here's the thing that, about titanfall is that i basically exclusively played titanfall with like a full party of friends okay that would be incredible yeah it was fantastic the yeah. whole time um i'm really excited i would really love to get evolve going with that but i know yeah. i don't have enough friends with an xbox one mm-hmm when yeah. that comes out, it's I've just got not... an Xbox One. What? Yeah. There you go. You could be my one friend. I could be your one friend. Y- your Xbox One friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ah, this villains. is why we're famous. Um, next is Hearthstone. I mean, it's fucking Hearthstone. Oh, yeah. Hearthstone's that's really good. That's, and that's what I mean when I say like like some games just nail mechanics, mm-hmm. and that's what they are. Yeah, that game. Um, that game was technically on our list last year, so I don't. I don't think it can be on our overall list. But this it was year, what but... released this year. But it was in open beta. Open, open beta. It was in. It was in that <laughs> open beta all last <laughs> year. So. Like it, I think it went into open beta like late 2012. So it had like a full year in 2013. I, I don't know if I feel we can't. That wasn't a release game though. We'll see. It was in beta. That shakes out. All right, fine. Um, I'm gonna get that on the list. Uh, seven Shadows of Mordor. Okay. Um, okay. Talking about that Nemesis system again. When we're talking about like this is the year of freaking good mechanics. That game nailed combat it nailed like navigation it nailed I, nemesis system the nemesis system is very cool i thought mm-hmm. the combat was like way too hard like especially for like the first half of the game before i got like more abilities like it was like i was playing that game and just dying over and over again at everything yeah. it was like am i playing this game i know wrong? what you mean i hit i'd think I felt like that was my fault when I played. Like I don't, and I, I don't think that's ever like a good excuse. Yeah. Like I'm fucking playing it wrong. Like that's not really a thing. But like, uh, I found that I think my balance of like doing open world stuff mm-hmm. wasn't good. Like I didn't do enough side stuff to power up enough. You know I, what I mean? I feel like what I was trying to do was trying to do side stuff, and that the side stuff was like too high level for me. And I should have just been doing the main quest stuff because that was actually a lot easier. Maybe. I, I, that's, that, that's what I found anyway. That like, line wasn't super clear in that game. Yeah, it, that, it was a little muddy. Did you find that the timing windows in combat were like smaller than they looked like on screen? Like uh, I find I'm always pushing the counter button to counter and like getting hit in the face. No, I didn't find a huge issue with it. Okay. But I, it, I mean, it's number seven on my list for a reason. Like it, 
despite it being like so kind of gameplay wise coming together, like it it lacked like a it lacked whatever thing makes like games like a more than the sum of their parts. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like it was just a lot of good pieces and it it is and, just a sum of parts. Ex- exactly. It is I'll say it is on my list. But for like a a reason I can't really explain because I feel like I don't feel like it's a super great game, but for some reason I just feel like I want to play it. Yeah, like it's a it's a weird thing to describe. Yeah, I almost picked yeah, it up I yesterday. Just having fun. Sometimes you can just have. I fun. guess you're just having fun. I mean, it is just it's just the Assassin's Creed game that was good this year. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> I mean, the story is yeah, the story is garbage. Oh the, uh, God, yeah. But yeah, it Espe- was... especially if you're, I'm not really one of these people, but if you're like a big like Tolkien nerd, I'm sure it will fucking drive oh, you nuts. Yeah, people are. Uh, Man, crazy. they're the worst though. Get out of here, Tolkien nerds! <laughs> Come on, Come can, on. We, can we afford to malign any nerds? <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, right? just, just... I'll malign any. Stop the nerd, nerd on nerd violence, Keith. Yeah, Come on. on, Kyle's always been very good about that. There's a about maligning nerds. Yeah, no. The unity, unity. Yeah. No, actually, not unity. That's not not unity. on my list. Not Assassin's Fuck Creed um, unity nerds. Not the people using unity to make games. The people that like Assassin's Creed unity. Last thing about Shadow Mortar, I will say, I think it's a good example of like the reason I'm getting more excited about games now than I have been is because like people are just figuring out like how to make fucking good games, and like there aren't That's- like huge detractors or if there are, it's because they need like a performance patch or something like mm-hmm. you know what I mean, like. No. I feel like the systems work no. well together. Systems. I've been feeling like that for like five years now. I feel, yeah. I feel like it's... But you but haven't played games in five maybe years. Maybe that's right. Maybe that's, <laughs> why, maybe that's why. But I played like GTA Five, and that had like a bunch of weird problems. Yeah, yeah. that was... GTA is kind yeah, of its own so thing. Um, Broken Age, number six. Okay. Fucking... A, a, Broken Age is really fun. A really game, good. I really like that a lot. A game ab- I backed on Kickstarter... And then never played. Why? It's really good. I just good. didn't. I it's really good. Kyle. I know. I just... I. It's so... Tim Schafer did it again. I just can't. I can't get into the mood for a point and click. He, oh, just, it's not. You should so check it out. More. It's really good. Get I mean, it on iOS, then it's a touch and, tap and click. Yeah, and that, and that's the thing is, like, I paid for, like, I think a PC version, and now it's been so long that I'm... I, I, I am owed a PC version. I'm sure I'm just going to buy it on some other place and play it that way. <laughs> yeah. Um... The storytelling in that game is incredible. Uh, the, I mean, the mechanics leave, I would say, something to be desired. Like, it's an adventure game, but mm-hmm. the, even the puzzles aren't very complex. Like, I didn't have a lot of... The puzzles are super not complex. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, the, I didn't have, like, any moment where I was like, oh, I feel smart, because I right. figured that out. You yeah, know? no. Like, I think the strength... I think that, that that is a huge strength of the game, is not relying on puzzles. Like, mm-hmm. I think probably the best thing that you can say about that game is that it's a be like a beautifully done interactive storybook. And I think if I was like an adventure games guy, I might be disappointed by that because right. like Tim but if Schafer's you're whole games thing guy, is you like, wouldn't be my friend. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm what? not. I'm not because I hate them. Jerk. Um, I like it's modern adventure nerd games. Nerd on nerd violence. It's got to stop, guys. Come on. Um, we have to I turn like our violence towards though. the outside world. <laughs> no. Oh, too late. Um, five, Transistor. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the the world is so cool on this game. I, I know a lot of people that love Transistor. I thought it was great. I know I haven't played it yet. I'm very excited to play it. But it made like almost zero top ten lists. I like no, it, I don't yeah. get it. I saw it on a couple top ten lists. <laughs> Mechanically, it's awesome. I think yeah. the stuff they're doing with the story is really neat. I don't. I mean, I would it, really like to play it. It was a little subtle, but uh, yeah. and so everyone freaked out. They're like, "Uh oh, subtlety! Like, what do we do? <laughs> like, what? it's a I fuck. Like it's still a story, guys. Yeah, I, I like a subtle internet. Story. I feel like Keith and I wanted me to play it because we had this theory that like it seemed like all the people that didn't like Transistor were people that were huge Bastion fans, and I didn't love Bastion that much. So it was like maybe you'll love Transistor. It's possible. Yeah, and a lot of the people that that that. Uh, the Go opposite ahead. is true. Yep. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. The opposite of what he said. Mm-hmm. But I, and I loved Bastion. I don't know. I feel like I would really like Transistor. That's one of the games. That's one of the games that I would really like to play that came out this year. Eidolon is another game that I'd really like to play that came out this year. I know it. Um, Eidolon. Eidolon. Um, is that when you leave your car on? That's yeah, yeah. It's like it's a game where you leave your car. I on made that joke up so just funny. then. So sit, fucking funny. You sit on a villains and Keep look going. at a wall, and that's the game. Yeah, it's very powerful. It sounds ter- sounds really existential. Yeah. I have now forgotten the, the other games that I was. That's from uh, Ralph Waldo play. Emerson Studios. Well, you're right. right. How yeah, about yeah. Uh, how about Andy <laughs> mentions the next game on his list? All right. Um, yeah. Before Keith tells me his games, he didn't pick uh, Banner Saga number four. Really? Yeah. Yep. 
Huh. I uh, I really love that game. It looked fun. Uh, it's like that chess game. Great RPG. I think the things that that game does with tone is like kind of mind. Like it, yeah. it blew me away. Like I, it just does such a good job of creating this bleak, like wasteland that you're just sad to be in, but you can't leave. I've heard it. It, it yeah. I heard it does like an interesting story, interesting world. I just remember seeing like uh, way back when it was in like open alpha or something when it was like early access. They just had like the battle mechanics and didn't have anything around it just kind of looked boring the battle mechanics were not i mean they're good it's strategic it's mm-hmm. not for me the high point of that game the art is okay. amazing the art in the world I is what makes it for bad. me maybe they the changed the art it, it, i mean it's going for a vibe okay it's not like as polished as maybe something you know you what? maybe i just don't like vibes maybe that's it. yeah, yeah it sounds like you have a th- <laughs> your just, anti-vibe i'm just not a vibes guy um the Wolf Among Us is number three. Really? Yeah. Is that a this year game? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, I haven't I haven't finished the f- season, but I've played uh, f- one through four. I've finished one through four of the five episodes. I think Nicole played like the first episode or something. Kyle, can I talk to you about vibes for a second? Go oh, ahead, vibes. talk about vibes. The Wolf Among Us has a, got some vibes. it is rocking a vibe uninterested what is the vibe don't want it you see i think you should try it i, I can't deal with vibes it's a good vibe though it's like a specific vibe you What's know what i'm the saying vibe? Uh, like a noir uh kind of tragic vibe you gotta be more specific kind of political vibes. kind of it's political it's thrilling. like uh, it's like house of cards they're politics yeah no, you're not. You're Kevin not like Kevin Spacey a, in this game. No, he's no, in that he's, other in, game. he's yeah, not, he's in that he's other one. Booked up this year. Yeah, <laughs> his uh, egomaniacal, power hungry character was all booked this year. He was busy. Um, and uh, yeah, Wolf Among Us was great. Has a great story. Very compelling. Compelling is a word I would use. Uh-huh. Oh wow, oh, it's yeah. compelling. Yep. I haven't heard, heard that one. In haven't a while. heard that one in a while. Yeah. No, compelling's uh, coming back. This this I don't know if this will upset you. Uh, Monument Valley really? is my number two. That was the Clooney movie. Game of the year? Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, you're thinking of Up in the Air. Nope. You're thinking of... <laughs> Wait, did you just say that was Monuments your... Monuments Men. Did you yeah. say that was your Game of the Year? No, second. Okay. Uh, it, it couldn't be my Game of the Year. Is... I, uh, I had it on my iPhone for like months and never played it, and I still have it. What is it? It's an incredibly charming puzzle game. I hate puzzle games, and it made me like puzzle games. I feel like any game that makes me overcome my general disdain for the genre, yeah. like Portal in this game generally find a, a way into my my heart um money i was interested in playing that but i don't have a thing that can play it kyle let me tell you about vibes yeah it's a sweet vibe i could play it right now if you want nice. you should maybe it'll be my game of the year i think you should while you're doing don't this. play it don't do that um, right now. no i don't probably won't uh yeah it's kind of light on story but it's uh it's very charming okay, okay. what's your game of the year idiot well what do you think i don't know come on uh, i don't know what is it Destiny? Wait. No, Destiny is not. Is it on my Halo the list. Master Chief Collection? No, that it's, game is uh, It's uh oh it's Dragon Age. Yeah, of course. Yeah, cool. Duh. It's really good. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, I haven't I'm i st- I'm very, very early into it. So. I'm very I'm very up in the air on whether uh Dragon Age. The Clooney Age, movie? No. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. <laughs> I hate that so much. Uh, I'm very like. Do you I, hate it because it was so fucking good? No, I mean, it wasn't. It was perfect. Uh, get out. Um, God, that was good. Dragon Age is my favorite game of the year because it probably has the best writing of a game. Uh, incidentally, the main narrative. Best writing of a game, just bar none. Is I would that what you're say. Saying? I would say. Yeah, I would say the the writing is on par, like with any other really well written <laughs> game you could point to. Um, that said, the main narrative is uh, garbage. In my opinion, hmm. um, I'm very like it's weird. It's like one of those bittersweet number ones where I'm like, well, that like I played that game for 120 hours. Did you? But yeah, like something ridiculous. Wow. But wow. at the same time, uh, it has some like real deep like flaws for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That I kind of can't. Like I, I'm gonna have those in my brain at the not same as many time. flaws as it's, Monument but Valley. But here's the thing: no. if, you're, <laughs> if you're gonna. Yes. <laughs> Monument Valley, a flawed masterpiece. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the it fucking... Just, it didn't, Monument Valley didn't take up as much space. None of these other games took up as much space in my yeah. gaming life. That's, that's the whole why. thing about about these lists is that it's fucking, you know, you're going to have things that you don't like about any game, basically. Yeah. Well, but that's the weird thing, because I have games on here that I objectively 
had no negative experience with yeah, and well, no negative opinion of, but Dragon Age is my number one, I, yeah, which well, I have I, significant, yeah. Yeah, like, for, for one thing, like, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, it's not on my list. It almost was, but it was, like, so the t- Captain Toad levels were, like, side levels that you did a couple of in, like, Mario 3D World, and then they, like, broke it out and made it its own thing, and it was, like, a $40 game, and that game is, like, it's like Nintendo at the top of their game. Like they made the best Captain Toad game anyone could have ever possibly made. Yeah. But it still just wasn't quite good enough to beat like the other ten games it's, on my list. Yeah, it's weird because Dragon Age just does more than any other yeah. game. This what year I'm saying me. is that I like just because you have a problem with parts of the game doesn't mean that you're the rest of the game has to like you can look at the whole fucking thing and decide like oh this game's my favorite thing that I played this year even though this and this. We're not so great because you understand that they're not so great, but you still like it. The weird thing about Dragon Age for me, though, is like I almost I'm thinking about it now. And like I didn't really think about this a lot before, but mm-hmm. like I'm thinking about it now and like I don't know why I loved it. So like it's yeah, but it, that like that's my like my game of the year is exactly the same. It's like I have no idea why I like it so much. Mm-hmm. I just do. It's strange because it's like it is it is the thing where it's like way more than the sum of its parts, because if I look yeah. at the combat, I'm like, well, it was fine. And if I look at like the main narrative, I'm like, well, that wasn't great. <laughs> you know, and if I look at like the world exploration, I'm like, eh, like <laughs> you can pick still like that fucking animation for picking up herbs is infuriating. Like, so but listen herbs to yourself. You you're up. saying that this wasn't a bad year for games. This is your game of the year, and yeah, you're just okay. like none of these Yeah, but this he this is say- basically a subpar game, right. but it was the best one. I don't think it's a subpar game. I think it's an excellent game. I just I have problems with it. Well, it's you like said sc- that the like main if- narrative. You said that the main narrative is not so great. Yeah, I have not gotten far enough in the main narrative to make a call either way. But you're saying that the rest of it was one of the best written games you ever played. Oh yeah, and that's why it's why that's why it's number one because mm-hmm. the incidental and the relationships in that game are yeah. probably the best of any. Mm. RPG I've seen. Iron Bull, I hear. I, everyone keeps saying Iron Bull. Oh, Iron Bull is pretty great. great. It's, I mean, this is this is why Dragon Age is on par with like RPGs like Skyrim and other yeah. shit. Like Skyrim's a better game. Like game Skyrim game. Is like more the, fun the, to play. The, the game systems I think are better. Of. Skyrim has a lot of flaws in its gameplay. Also, it does. That's but true. I, I feel is, like that is a more fun game. I to have play. more fun doing the like the game part. Like mm-hmm. the I, I more specifically, I have more fun doing the combat part of Skyrim than I do doing the combat part yeah. of Dragon Age. That said, mm-hmm. the hook, like the narrative, yeah. is not... It, it's a different hook. It's like the narrative yeah. is the hook in Dragon Age in Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. The, those games world. Are, those games are going for totally different things. Yeah. So but it's not a problem. It that, is interesting for me to have a discussion about both, though, in the same... Yeah. Because of I, the similarities. I, uh, I didn't play Dragon Age, and part of it was because, like... I just couldn't get, like, something about it just this year, I had n- almost no time to play games, so I had to pick and choose, and I just couldn't get excited about, like, a hundred-hour fantasy RPG, mm-hmm. especially because I really, I liked the first Dragon Age a lot, but, like, I don't feel, I, I didn't like it as much as other people, so mm-hmm. even though this one's it's supposed really to be good. different, like, I couldn't it's really a, get it's excited very about it. I had kind of that with Divinity. I really wanted to want to play Divinity Divinity's this amazing. year, Divinity's but I, really I couldn't do good. another, like big rpg the the thing about divinity i think it's the third game in the series the first two were like action rpgs like diablo and i was just kind of like i don't really want to play that kind of game and then i found out like a month ago that it was like a turn-based strategy rpg and i was like why the fuck didn't anyone tell me that that sounds awesome i I would have played the shit out of that game i thought the same thing that you did until i was literally playing the game and then it was like by the way this is turn-based yeah so i wish i had played divinity original divinity is great We, we could play some divinity all right, let's play some Divinity. Great, let's do it right now. Um, Andy, no? oh god, I Sorry. don't think you know how this works. We gotta do it. We're podcast. talking in a microphone. Right, gotcha, right gotcha, now. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, um, Keith, go. Okay, this is my okay number ten. Divinity, Original Sin. That's my number. This is my number ten game. Oh, I do want to say that the other game that uh, on my things that I wish that I played this year list was Eighty Days. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, I got that. I haven't dove into it. Is yet. that was that like uh, is that one of those like political games? No, <laughs> that is a, it. Is a retelling. Uh oh. It is a retelling. <laughs> it's about of, the Senate. I it's mean, about quorum. Kyle, if we're getting down to it, every game is a political game. No. no. Yep. No, I disagree. And, and so, it ironically, is... one game not political game. Saints Row Four, the game where you're the president. That's that's pretty <laughs> ironic. It's the one game that's not mm-hmm. political. Uh, the, so 80 days is a, it's a, uh, sort of like a retail and I haven't played it, so I'm 
talking about a game that I haven't played. Okay. Uh, it's a game where you, it's a retelling of Around the World in 80 Days, where you oh. are, uh, you play as the valet to the dude who's arounding the world. Retelling is a strong word. Is it? Yeah, it's it's basically casting that story in like a choose your own adventure mm. Right, a re, sure, a reimagining then. What do you want? Yeah, reimagining would be a better word. Okay. Fuck off. Retelling, Wait, maybe a little bit. That's like the same thing. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, and then it's, it's, it's <laughs> okay, basically, I'm wrong. it is basically like, yeah, a, like a choose your own adventure resource management. Like game. a reimagining. Like a reimagining. It's around the world in 80 days, but you're the valet and it's resource management. Choose your own adventure. Weird. Okay. Yeah. That's a game you haven't played on word. Andy asked. Okay. Why isn't Divinity your number one game if you liked it so much, huh? <laughs> yeah, because what I the have, fuck? I played a lot of games this year okay. compared to you, and I liked a lot of them. Keep going. Not compared to me. You didn't play Listen, like a guys, vast... we don't need to judge people based on how many games. Nerd on nerd violence. Year. If Andy's going to come in here talking about how he played all these games this year and he's doing so good, and blah, 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 and then he comes in here with a weak ass list like he did, not your top 10 list, which is fine, but earlier off mic, he read off all of the games that he now, played this Keith, year. Keith, listen, I yeah. don't want to get a little personal. I don't want to get a little snarky, yeah, but two up? people in this room had like full-time jobs all year and one person fucking didn't that's true <laughs> i only had a i only had that two- was my cackle yeah have you but hold on andy was teaching spanish to people who uh, and didn't he doesn't even speak spanish yeah but that was lit that was time during a day that i couldn't do another thing mm, i don't know oh hold true. on hold on wait Kyle plays fucking Bayonetta while he's working, so fuck Hey, off, hey, Kyle. <laughs> that, I can't do that anymore. I you did that I can't, for a while. I can't do that did anymore. Did you get told off specifically? Oh, kind of. I I did play almost all of Bayonetta 2 at work, though. Yeah. But so that was a go. job, that was a new job that I got in October, so it was very late in the year. Still have that one? Bayonetta 2? No, the job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We talk, so, yeah, Divinity Original Sin, I, I really, really, le- a lot of the games this year... That I have on my list, I have on my list because I had a good time with them, playing them with other people, which is not a thing that I have experienced in the past. Like, I don't mm-hmm. usually play a lot of games with other people. I mean, you notoriously live in an apartment by yourself. Yeah, it is no- I'm he is notorious for that. For that yeah. yeah. that's. I've only been there for two months. Apparently a new trend with young He's people. He's notorious. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just, I just, it was a ton of fun uh, going through that game and and. You know, <laughs> what? what is, are you guys doing? I'm thing? just giving him a weird look and look? watching him squirm. I'm just smiling at him, kind of creepy. And I was literally squirming. All right, like this is a really good RPG, and it fucking it really really nails having to play a game at once. Um, is that a cooperative game? Yes, it you, is. I would say that it is a primarily cooperative experience. You play it with other people. You play primarily it cooperative. Yeah, I would say that that game is. I that if I played that game by myself, it would not. Do you have that on PS4? P- I don't know. I no, play it on PC. You play on PC. If is Steam Play? Yeah. Did you get it on Steam? Yeah. Is Steam Play a thing? Like, could I play with you if I'm on a Mac? If you're on a Mac, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Um, Just want to keep going. Number nine, the uncle who works for Nintendo. For Nintendo at Nintendo. Hold on. What is that? Your number nine? Yeah. For Nintendo. That's a game. What is it? A game. The uncle is a. It is a Twine game. Uh, what is by that? Twine. Yeah. Okay. Twine is. Isn't a, that a thing you make sweaters with? Why are you sighing like that? I just I don't I don't know. It sounds dumb. It's not okay. So a twine twine is a yes. fu- basically it is a uh, it's like a hypertext thing. You, you, it's it is like a minimal coding required mm. game maker that you basically can tell visual novels or choose your own adventure. With. That was a fake yawn, just so you know. Okay. Uh, you asked me a question. So you're answer. not actually bored to the point of yawning. <laughs> no, no. You was, just wanted to be a dick. It was yeah. perfect, yeah. Um, and The Uncle Who Works for Nintendo is a, it's a, it is a twine kind of horror game where... Uh, God, do you have any Red Bull? No. I'm just falling asleep I have here. coffee. I hear about this game. Do you actually need a coffee or are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just being a dick. Stop uh, it. It's a twine horror game. Where yeah, it's a choose your choose your own adventure it's horror, a horror game. game. It's a horror game. Uh, Keith, don't get don't get perturbed. I'm interested in hearing about this dumb game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, seriously. I'm kidding. <laughs> it was too easy. So it's a text adventure. It is a text adventure. Ah. Yes. It is a text adventure. So the basically the 
uh, you're you are over at a friend's house staying the night, uh, and as you continuously play through this game three, four, five, six times, you are learning additional detail. You look at my list. I was just I, know, I was people, trying people to confirm list, the spelling of is it wor- uncle who works for Nintendo? Yes, the uncle who works for Nintendo. Um, and uh, uh, as you continually go through this game, more details of like what in this reality is broken start to emerge through, and it's it's really interesting and kind of creepy. I like, guess not. It's it's a horror game. I wouldn't call it scary because it's mostly text based, um, but it's very good at kind of creating this sort of uh, like cracked reality sort of thing. Cool. Um, mm. And the next game on my list does a very similar thing. Uh, looking twice at art, veracity, and purpose. Uh, what the? Have I heard of any it? of these games? Yes, you have. Looking twice at art. Yeah, this is twice. Uh, hold on, is twice this a, at is art. Is this a game you played for a colon? class? No, this is colon veracity and purpose. That's V E R veracity and and purpose. Ampersand or and? It's an ampersand. Um, this is a game, this is actually a game that my friend Jack DeKeat made for my other friend Austin Walker. Is the it is on my it is on my list legitimately one of the best games that I played this year. What? It is uh sounds, sounds like, like you're biased. Sounds sounds like I'm when you biased. when when like one of your favorite bands is legitimately no. your friend's band. Sounds no, like product this is placement a really to good, me. Okay, this is another Twine game. Are uh, they are they paying you guys licensing or are they paying you ad? Yeah. Ad money? Who? Uh them for yeah is your game now. of the year list sponsored by twine it's yeah. Spons- yeah it's sponsored by twine a free program where you can make fun dumb Keith, i just don't want to get caught up in a scandal where like we find out that you were taking bribes the yeah i i mean i don't want to be looped into into the firing no. squad yeah. of twine this game. it sounds political this is a game that oh, was this is a game that was basically almost exactly all the stupid dumb bullshit that i'm into <laughs> Uh, which is why I like it so much. Like uh, twine. Like twine. No, not like twine. I don't. What are you? What are you doing? Talking to Kyle. Motioning to oh, Kyle. Three. Three. Just put the three there. Oh, okay. Three. That's what you're. You, you just say you're doing some weird signals at the TV, and then at Kyle. You could. You could have just said that. We're fine. Yeah. Um. It is. I would call it sort of a. a more I didn't know he would derail novel. the whole thing. Through, you go. You basically. It is a. It is a guidebook. You go through this guidebook, looking at the art of this of this guy named uh, 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 Robert Ells. Okay. Um, and real and guy or fake guy? Fake guy. Okay. Made up guy. Robert Ells does not exist. Is it real art? It is not real art. You know what my favorite Twine game is? Robert Ells does not exist. That one was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So are there not pictures that you're looking at? Uh no no. There's incredibly detailed descriptions of the pictures that you're. Char- your character you're, is looking at. For someone who bragged about how many games they played, this is a fucking weird list. It is yeah. a super weird list. <laughs> this I is very weird, weird list. Uh, then again, this is what this is what the year of 2014 drove people to. Yeah. Keith put two text this, games on his list because three there was nothing. List. God damn it! <laughs> the next the next one better be next. The next one is not next. I'm not leaving Twine and coming back. The next one is Jackbox. Jackbox Party Pack. Jackbox that, Party Pack. I don't think you can put that on as a whole game. You can. You, you can. It's one price. It's one price. It's one executable file on your console. <laughs> it just feels, it seems wrong to me. There are three different games. But there is actually five games. There's, it's five games. They're sold as one. Yeah. Jackbox is the uh, is the company. It used to be Jellyvision who made. Uh, Bad movie. You don't know Jack. Jellyvision was a good name. They changed their name from Jellyvision to Jackbox. Better uh, name. Better name. I, I say it's a better name only because it clearly tells you, oh, these are the you don't know Jack people. I like Jellyvision. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Doesn't Jack, do you don't know Jack me. is one of my favorite games. I fucking love you don't know Jack. Uh, it's great. And then yeah. Fibbage and Drawful are incredible, specifically Drawful. Uh, I had a ton of fun playing Drawful this year. What are these and, other two and, shitty mystery games on there? Uh, word spud, which is garbage, nothing, and then uh, uh, fly quiz. It's swat. It's lie swatter. Lie swatter, which is nothing. Lie swatter is interesting only because it was made for basically the thing I did, where people play on a live stream because it can do one to a hundred players. But all it is is it just sh- it just says something on screen, and then on your phone you pick true or false, and then it like it tells you if you're right or not. Okay, so and then after each round of five questions, there's like a leaderboard of like who's in first. So super simple. Yeah. But it's it's also annoying to me because it's it's not like it's not a lot of like cold facts that most people would know. It's like they just say like 
a, a guy in Georgia once did this. And you're like, did, did some fucking guy in Georgia do that? I don't know. It sounds crazy enough to be true, but it also sounds like a fucking lie. I don't there's like, there's no way in... I could know if there was a guy in Georgia who did something like, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's could have been that better. I think a lot of that game would be fixed just by having a more charismatic narrator and better music. Okay. I, I, okay. But for, fuck last water. Who cares? But right. The one problem I think with Jackbox party pack is that, um, you don't know, Jack is very timing based and requires, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's all about like buzzing in first and like the Jack attack is like one third of the game and it's all about quick response. And there doesn't seem to be any way that I've found to play with multiple people where you're using regular controllers to play the game. And there's actually a bunch of latency on, like, the using the phone as the controller thing. I, but I feel like the latency on the controllers, I mean, on the phones, if everybody's using a phone, it's basically all even. I've I've, it, I've, now, I've played it. I've experienced have... it being different. Like, I, I swear, like, I've seen, like, say, like, Nicole's thumb, like, hit her phone before mine, but, like, I still get it. Do they have buttons like like Bluetooth peripheral things that they sell that are like well the buzzing way, what you do the way you, you go yeah. it's not an app you go to their you go to a website mm-hmm. and the way, and it's an in browser I was wondering if they made some stupid no. plastic thing for you to buy that might work better they have an app but apparently the app is broken but uh I mean the the Bluetooth thing with the buttons on it is the controllers that come with your fair, console fair enough the, uh, but the thing that drives me crazy is I saw them play it on Giant Bomb and I swear to God they had four people playing with controllers and one person playing with a phone so I don't know how they did that or maybe I'm wrong but um my number six is Smash Brothers Smash Brothers for 3DS for 3DS I, it's all the same it's all the same I would just say Smash Brothers in general the smashes that came out Smash this year. Brothers 4. did you play it on Wii U uh, I haven't no. I I have it on Wii U. Uh, I, I think it's it, worth mentioning it's for the 3DS. I got, I got both. I went crazy. Cause but have you played eight player Smash on Wii U? Not not with eight people, just with computers. Can we? I mean, if you've got five other people that are gonna walk through the door right now, then yeah. I might be able to get one. That's that's still just four. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. So here's the thing about Smash Brothers is that it's really fun. <laughs> Still? Yeah, it's still really fun. Uh, you stop messing with that thing? No, I want to keep messing with it. You're ma- it's making noise. I can hear it. Yeah, you can hear a lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, it's true, but it's not really yeah. relevant. It's it, it, Smash. I don't. Uh, have you played Smash this year? Have In general, Smash Brothers. No, I haven't. But no? I've played the game. I should get it. I have a 3ds. You should get it. It's really fun. What's I- the deal with the new 3ds? Do I have to have the th- new 3ds yet? Or is that not even out? It's not even out. Um, all it is is it's... Uh, what it is? All what it is <laughs> is it's got a little tiny analog nub that's like a second right, like a right stick, but there aren't any games that support it yet. Also, it's slightly more powerful, but it's one of those things like the DSi was slightly more powerful, so technically there could have been DSi-only games, but there just like basically weren't any. Yeah. So there are... At least a couple games right now that have been announced that are going to be new 3DS only, like Xenoblade Chronicles and maybe something else. Um, and also, it has something where like it uses the camera to track your eyes and adjusts the 3D on the fly. So apparently, it's supposed to be a lot easier to keep the 3D in focus, so that you don't have you can turn the console a little bit mm-hmm. and it won't mess up the 3D effect so much. That's what it, that's what it is about cool. that. Um, Smash Brothers, I have to say, I was, like, shocked that I liked. Yeah? I even played it, like, because I, I got it for Christmas. I only kind of wanted it. I didn't really want it that much. And mm. I played it for, like, a few minutes, and I was like, oh, this is just as boring as I was afraid it was going to be. Uh, but I don't know. It just, like, I, I got into it in a way that I hadn't with a, a, yeah. a Smash Brothers game, at least since the GameCube one. Uh, it just feel it just feels a lot more fun. I, like I'm not sure if the game's actually different or if I just decided to like this one more than the last one. But yeah, like or it's at least the online matchmaking like actually works this time. Works and is good. So that's that's a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that. So I wasn't interested in it at all, really. And uh, when the demo came out, like a week or two before mm-hmm. the actual game came out for the 3ds, I downloaded it and I was like, oh no, this is like really fun. <laughs> Uh, and I played like hours of the demo. Who's then, your Who's your main character? Villager, Duck Hunt. Villager, what? Villager. I don't even know either of these. He's villagers the... from uh, from Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing character. Villager. I'm yeah. a Pikachu guy. And then Duck Duck Hunt is uh, 
is the duck hunt dog and a duck hunt duck that fight together. That's awesome. It's fucking great. Um, the I actually haven't played much as as duck hunt, um, but I like him. the The thing that I like about Villager is that all of his attacks are chores, and so he's just yeah, continuous. Yeah. He's just like everything is kind of an act like. Like his main attack while he's running is that he trips and hits you with a potted plant that he's carrying. Um, the kind of his most powerful move is that he plants a tree and the tree like hits people and then you chop down the tree and that fucking just wrecks everybody. Great. It's great. I just like that every that's what I like about the villagers. Is, is everything that he does is kind of a mistake. It is very Is it fun. still set up so that like basically a lot of the characters are skins of other characters? Because I feel like that was my big thing with the Wii one was like that. Oh, these are all like these are all basically like the same three, characters. There's three Star Fox characters. Like there's still like two Star Fox characters. Um, these all the, the the biggest problem with the roster is that even though these guys all fight slightly differently, there's fucking five Fire Emblem characters on that list, Why? and they're they're just like anime characters with swords. Like, cause I guess Is people it, really like him. I don't know. I think that the I think that the Fire Emblem guy had something to do with Smash this year or this. I have no connection to that series. Oh, either. like like the guy that makes yeah. Fire Emblem helped with Smash Brothers. Yeah, I. You know what? I actually remember hearing that. And I, I think know. that he also. I think that's also why there's a Dark Pit because he also worked on. Yeah, like fucking Dark Pit. Yeah, there's Pit and Dark Pit. And like who fucking? That's fucking really. See, like bad. But there's pit. so many characters, and a lot of them are so different. All that pits are bad pits. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Smash, super fun. Love Villager. Yeah. Love Villager's the, stupid mistake attacks. My only problem with the 3DS version that makes it clearly inferior to the Wii U version for me is that... You can't play eight people on one screen? Well, I mean, I guess there's also that. But it's also just that there's no right stick. Because, like, using the right stick for Smash attacks is, like... Like, my whole gameplay style is, like, oh, predicated I've never on done that. that. It's, like... But if you have it, though, and you try it, it's really fucking good. No, I mean, I've never done that with any Smash Brothers. I know, but you also used the Wii Remote on Brawl, which had no Only right stick also. Only half the time. I feel like playing with the gamepad put the right stick um, closer in reach than it had ever been before for a Smash Brothers game, so I think I started using it way more. Okay. I, I find Smash Attacks really hard to do on the 3DS. Um... Is there anything else about Smash besides that it's fucking super fun? Nope. And then Kyle went nuts and bought... Duck Hunt. Well, it was was one of those things where, like, I would find myself, like, other places like work or something and feeling, man, I wish I could play Smash Brothers. This sucks. But then there was a way for me to play more Smash Brothers. It was, like, fucking insidious. I was like, oh, now I know why they put it on both systems. So I I bought the, the 3DS one. I wasn't proud of myself, but I did it. You're okay. You're doing good. Yeah. Looks good too. Yeah, it does look good. I don't like that they split up um some of like the levels between the two. Like one of my favorite Smash Brothers levels is like the Great Fox, and they put that in 3DS and not in Wii U, and it's lame to me. Andy, sorry, I'm sorry. Have Kyle, have you done any of the me uh, Smash characters? Hey, get off your get What's off that? my thing. What there. is that? Get your feet off my what does thing. That do? That's uh, that's our headphone splitter. Ooh, but we don't have headphones. <coughs> it's because we don't have a game to listen to. Okay. Um, uh, keep going, Keith. I was I was just wanted to know if you played with any of the me characters. No, you know, me. Those are no. fun. Those are like surprisingly I, customizable. I just don't like cool me's. Way. Me neither. I don't like them either. But they're fun to play as. Yeah. You should check it out. I I've barely done anything. I just learned like a little while ago that you can like customize the moves for yeah. the characters. Yeah, I didn't it's even know really about that. Cool. There's I haven't even dug into that. Mies are Mies are kind of beat, right? I mean, aren't they really just for that day you open the Wii on Christmas Day and you make your family and then that's it? As far as I'm concerned, Nintendo keeps <laughs> insisting that they be brought back for things and yeah. I don't know why. Uh yeah. Keith number 4. Number 5. 5. Number 5. Um is Hold on, I think my list got. Oh, you're doing the list. You're doing the numbers. Back. Yeah, I'm. Do, I'm doing a thing with the numbers. Don't worry about those numbers. Okay. Why don't, wait, why don't we do it like golf, so that the one with the fewest is the preferred one? Like fibbage. Yeah. We you just, want fibbage to be our game of the year? Yeah. All right. Good. We're talking yeah. about a century now. <laughs> uh, that is a. That what is it, another twine game. It's my what last is the twine game on the list? Jesus, a century. Man. A century. A parentheses s. It's it's all one word, but there's a parentheses no. Uh, in between the A and the C is a parenthetical S. What? This is this is reminding me of like that that like a uh, thought 
problem where it's like how many how long would it take for like an army of monkeys to type the works of shakespeare like how fucking long would it take for an army of monkeys to type the works of your fucking list no one it would never happen this list would never be created even by sheer chance this was like one of the trillions of lists that was created by the monkey before they got it right (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, like they're nope. just pulling like made up uh, games that you've is, never heard of. This yeah. is a, uh, uh, this is a, this is another Twine game. This is a, a sort of, it looks like a dystopian cyberpunk, uh, game, uh, by our buddy Austin Walker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one of our buddies. One of our buddy. One of our buddies, Austin Walker. Come on, nerd on nerd violence. Come um, on, where's that? And, uh. It's fucking really good. It's really, really good. Is, are there pictures? There's pictures. There's Le- music. There's re- there's really, really good artwork. There's really, really good music. Um, real art or fake can art? I, can real I just art. ask this? And I don't mean to be a jerk. Be a jerk. Is one of the like free use license agreements for Twine that the title has to be fucking insane? No. Okay. No, it's just, not. Just that, check it. I would love to see the Nintendo's legal the legal wording what? for like, that. The uncle who works for Nintendo isn't isn't. Yep. Nope. That's, that's an like insane a very specific reference to a t- to a thing. For, it's an insane name for a thing. For a game that is supposed to be like a horror thing. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. It's spooky crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like, think. Like, you just said the game was called A Century, and I thought that was the most normal of the three, and then you showed me how to spell it, and it's easily the most crazy. <laughs> it's almost as bad it's as Complex Rock. really... Okay, so... It's almost as bad as Complex It's Rockets. almost yeah. nearly as bad. Okay, so the, b- b- the, the pitch for A Century is that you are a fucking... You basically... You work for an ad company that... Uh. They kind of turn you into a computer, and you work for an ad company that creates ads, and you're... God, ad- I hate when that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get turned into a computer and have to make ads. <laughs> no, 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 you're into it. Fuck you're into life. being the computer. Okay. What? Uh, yeah, and you basically... So it's like, Assassin's Creed. Uh, it's yeah. It's the meta-narrative of Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed. And you look, you kind of... You, it's... I uh, I don't want to talk too much about it. It's very, very good. K- Kyle and Andy are clearly not interested in hearing me talk about hey, Kyle, this. Hey, no, Kyle, sidebar, just sidebar. No, 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 just keep on no, Kyle. No, Dragon keep, Age. No, and... no, I demand that you finish explaining this game because I will not be the person that that I need to hear this. I don't know if you deserve it. I need to hear about all games. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so so it's sort of a... Um, the game part of it is, is a sort of fill-in-the-blank, choose-your-adjective sort of game where, where you are... You're basically building the tone of this corporation as it slowly devours uh, the the like a section of the galaxy. And, okay, and and comes into power as one of a mega uh, one of these mega sort of sovereign nation corporations. Are there systems, or do you just name things and then the game's over? It's really good. You should just play it. Describe it to me. There are not. There are not systems in any way that other than a choose your own adventure narrative okay that was really better than yes divinity yeah and every other game that came out and this smash year Smash bros uh-huh. and really jackbox good. it's one better than smash brothers kyle we're none of these twin games are making it on the top 10 right we'll see number four dragon age inquisition <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition. I did not play. I haven't played nearly enough Dra- of this game. Dragon Age Inquisition, real game. Yeah, real game. <laughs> <laughs> These are all real games. Uh, if you define if you define yeah, games simply yeah. by virtue, wait, wait, wait. If yeah. you define games simply by virtue oh, oh, of wait. being interactive, it's already on there. Like my there. fucking the doorknob on this do- house Let's is a not game. Even. Pretend like we're gonna get into an argument about what's a game, right? We're now. not gonna. I'm no, just saying, I'm lose my mind if we even go. We, we I'm are just saying, s- by your current definition, uh, okay. My my car is a game. The doorknob <laughs> on this fucking Stop it. house is a game. My shoelaces are a game. No, which it's by the way, game. I no, no, no. fucking got a perfect no, score no. in. Okay, today. now don't let me in with Andy. I want to express my opinion very clearly. Are any of these game? Are are any of Keith's Twine games real games? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Are they games? Of course they're games. Are they the 10 best games of the year? Almost certainly not. No offense, Austin and Jack. I think the the Freudian slip you made earlier when you said absolutely not was the right one. You should play these games. They're really good. 
Maybe I will. You should yeah. have you played Microsoft Word? It's fucking awesome. You'd be <laughs> blown away Fuck by you. the things I you can do. I prefer we open office. <laughs> we should explain <laughs> that Andy is a known hater of of any kind like basically any game that wasn't created in the last five years. No, it's mostly just games without gameplay. Andy's just a shithead. So like the problem. He, like Andy almost can't conceive of someone enjoying a text game. Like that's the thing. I honestly you're absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. It's it's up there with like uh, sports with me. Like I'm like, why is that fun? Like you can't actually. No, fucking... I understand why sports are fun. Okay, you can't like read a book. Keep going. Uh, it's not the same. It is, uh, but it's it's if you can't conceive of liking a text game that is basically a visual novel, then it's just a fucking. It's like a but like like Did if you how can you can not conceive of that being enjoyable, but you also will read a book and enjoy it. Like you're just being held back. By yeah, some you're being weird. weird. I think I think what? calling whatever these. Uh, you know what? So, I don't know enough about these things to uh, intelligently refute you. But yeah. I'm sure Andy's there's being no a, way to intelligently refute me. Andy's being a closed-minded jerk. But Keith, let's not pretend that this is not uh, the apex in a lifetime of quirkiness. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like you've reached. Like you've almost reached. Like parodic levels of Keith quirkiness at this uh, point. These games are legitimately fantastic, and I will hear no nothing, no two ways. All right, it. all right, go on. Okay. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition. Do we have more to say about Dragon? I'm not very far. In the, I have like 25 hours into this game, yeah. maybe less even. Now, you, are you specifically talking about the Codex or the game? The Codex is fucking <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> the Codex number one? The Codex number one game actually was number 12 on my list. Okay, gotcha, yeah. it, gotcha. I mean, is it significantly better or more interesting than the Mass Effect Codex? So that's essentially what you're talking about, right? It's just yeah. a big thing. It's like an encyclopedia of like stuff from the game world. Mm-hmm. I, I would say that the the Mass Effect Codex is is better put together, but the Dragon Age Codex has much more in it, much more lore, and dives deeper than the Mass Effect Codex. Okay, agreed. Yeah, is uh, it how? Are there even like nominal ties to the original Dragon Age? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. game, uh, this more, game is, oh, way more so than Dragon Age Two. Like this should be called Dragon Age Two. Dragon so Age the, Two the thing that this game has, yeah, I'm even like just now, like my interest was like around thirty percent. Well, no, because like here's here's 20%. what here's what this game has. It has a thing called the the keep. Yeah, and in the keep is the tapestry. And basically, it's this. It's a website. You go on the website. You link up your account with your fucking whatever EA bullshit. Wait, I'm confused. That sentence you just said, was that the name of a Twine game? Or were you saying, like, you go on a website? <laughs> you go on a website. The Keep the Tapestry. Yeah. The Fleshy and Fun Bridge. You, you, <laughs> uh, basically, it takes you through the stories of Origin and 2. Okay. And brings in, like, explains all the choices or a lot of the choices. And you can go in as deep or as shallow as you want and kind of build your games. Really? Yeah. yeah it's, it's very, very, cool. very That's well pretty done. cool. Why haven't I heard about, like, why did I not hear a single word about that? Because it seems nobody like a weird knows how to thing. cover games, Kyle. That's it weird. was it was weirdly not mentioned like it was weirdly not put out there as like a thing. I think they were worried that people would be too like feel like it was too complex and be like, "Oh." I really thought that it took place in the same world but had almost no ties whatsoever to the no, first. No. It's game. very strange because like the, anyone who's going to play a fantasy RPG like you need to be into that world a little bit. You so there's like in. gray wardens and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You have a you have a gray warden party member. What's the name of like the is there still like a looming force of evilness that is gonna the blight new loom the blight it's, it's a, a whole new loom it's a different force of evil yeah main narrative there's great. another force of evil yep it's okay. not but the blight is one that everybody knew about like everybody knew about the dark spawn in the dragon age universe nobody knew about this new thing the dark spawn yeah come on all right now it's fine number three number three titanfall okay Really? That Titan, far up? Titanfall. Keith, I, are you going to pick any real games? <laughs> Wait, you missed uh, Dragon Age. You missed Dragon Age? No, we already had Dragon Age. Oh, oh. you did you put... Oh, okay, you put Jackbox because... Wait, we Dragon already had Titanfall. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Are you doing a numbers... If you're doing a numbers thing to rank it... I don't know what you're it's, doing. Like, you'll see what I'll... You'll see in a second. Okay. All right. Or you, you'll see once all three of us have done our lists. Uh, Titanfall, it's a, it's a I, thing I'm trying. So, the thing that happened with me with Titanfall is that I fucking, like, I played a ton of Titanfall for, like, a, for like two months, and I never didn't have, like, at least three friends that I was playing with, 
and the like having that sort of communication and uh, sort of potential to just goof off and have fun, like kind of at the same time, made that game like way better than I feel like I thought that it would be. Mm -hmm. Um, What are you two doing? Andy, Andy's just stepping on things and moving things around with his feet like you a You guys are like, like giving each other dummy. looks. Which is almost impossible if you look at this floor. Okay? It's a messy floor. All right. Um, Do you snacks? Yeah, there's snacks. Hold you, on a minute. Like, let him finish his fucking list. Okay. He's on number th- three. three. Uh, and number three, and we already talked about it. So I just I think that more like... On top of the fact that I don't usually play multiplayer games with a bunch of friends... I think Titanfall is also especially equipped to deal with. I'm not Kyle? doing what anything. Are you doing? <laughs> was, I'm just. You were doing a weird head. Listen, thing. I'm just. I I don't have any interest in Titanfall, and I'm a little bored, and I can't contain myself very well when I'm bored. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Finish talking about Titanfall. Uh, t- Titanfall, I think, specifically equipped to like be greatly improved by having. Uh, friends there that you're having fun with. What if with? you don't have friends that you're having fun with? I don't know. That's not my experience with this game. Number three. Oh, man. Yeah. You mean number two? No, that's number three. Now, what do you what do you, what do you think about the mechanics of the game? Don't don't tell me it's fun to play. Every game is fun to play with a group of friends. What's special that's about not Titanfall? That's true. I don't like playing ga- a lot of games with a group of friends. <laughs> Titanfall, first of all, I think that Titanfall is the... Uh, with, um, with Sunset Overdrive was one of the most fun times i had this year just moving a character around like it okay. is a blast just to be in motion in that yeah, game the mobility is great uh and then um like i my I, my biggest peeve with titanfall is that i actually don't have a ton of fun um being a pilot that like just being a care like a running dude with a fle- like in flesh with blood and a gun and shooting at no other- i understand what people are well okay uh, and Shooting at other pilots, like that, was n- not fun for me really at all. Mm-hmm. And the thing, the thing that kind of broke that game ultimately was when people got really good at being pilots. They were yeah. better than Titans. I got yeah, I you got I got pretty good at being a pilot, but that never meant killing a ton of other pilots. That's not how. That's what not how I mean? had fun. Was it meant like uh, being good at killing uh, the 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 grunts and the specters, being good at taking down Titans. Um, knowing when and where to What's call my own specter. Specters are um, is bot. It's they're things. robots that are like the 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 grunts. That you know what the grunts are. Yeah, they're like the grunts. They are slightly smarter AI. Um, I mean, I think Keith's argument that AI characters are more fun to take down than human characters is silly. But no, no, no. That's not. No, I'm not saying that. That's the fun. I wasn't saying that's more fun. I'm saying that where I was good at that game was. Taking down those characters, using that to call in Titans, knowing, like, taking down Titans as a pilot was more fun and easier for me than taking down other pilots as a pilot. That's my big qualm with the game, was that I didn't get a lot of enjoyment out of shooting other player characters. How is, how is, how is killing a giant robot easier than killing another person? Because a giant robot is of huge flesh and, and slow, blood. and the pilots are super, super fast. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and it, like the the longer range weapons w- had almost no appeal to me. The I was not good with the um, I was not, I'm not very good with the sniper rifle in that game. That's unusual. I know for you. It, it is very unusual for me. Uh, okay. And I don't like using the machine gun. I'm also not very good at it. Uh, so I spent yeah. a lot of time with the shotgun waiting. Like uh, and the anti titan weapon that they, every character gets an anti titan weapon as a pilot. Mm-hmm. Um, taking down pilots, hijacking. I mean taking down titans, hijacking titans. Um, getting points by killing grunts, um, calling in my own Titan and having fun in a big giant robot. I forget. Can you you can hijack a Titan that someone else has and then pilot it? You can't pilot it, but you can destroy it. You can like ride on the back of it and destroy it. All right. Um, I remember that. Yeah, that's not hijacking really. That's more number two. Like they call it hijacking. That was my number. Oh, my number two is Legend of Grimrock Two. Uh, Legend of Grimrock Two is fucking great. Um. It's I'm just gonna look up pictures of this game. I didn't. I didn't get to. I didn't get to play that one. Legend of you almost wrote Legend of Brine Rock. Is it a two or is it a is it a Roman numeral two? two. It is a number two. Arabic I think. Arabic or Roman? Ro- Arabic. Yeah, I think it is a two. Number two. Um, 
So, Andy, for your benefit, you don't know what Legend of Grimrock is. I know nothing about what you're saying. Legend of Grimrock is sort of an old school style dungeon crawler, Ugh. faux turn based. First. First person. First person. You are simultaneously controlling four characters. I don't think it's faux turn based. I don't think it there's anything turn, turn based, based real, about it. It is real time. Yeah. But the 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 movement is the movement and actions are staggered in a way that is resembling a turn based game. True. Um. So so you are moving one square at a time. Enemies are moving one square at a time. Weapons have uh. Set Your first tools. person moving one square at a time. Your first person moving one square at a time as four characters. How's um, that not boring? It's super fun. Um, a lot of the, a Watching. lot of the combat is because of that, like sort of, um, super structured, super specifically and, and puzzly. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it is, it is actiony and it feels actiony and tense, but it also is like this weird movement puzzle, um, that works really well. And a lot of it is kind of the, the tech, the scope and, and, uh, texture of the world that they made is super well done. Like the way that they have the dungeons that were in Legend of Grimrock and the way that they weave those in with the new Out overworld outdoor style, areas. outdoor areas. Keith, yeah. I didn't finish Legend of Grimrock. Right. And it was because I got stuck and I found it too hard. Should I play Legend of Grimrock 2 or should I finish the first one? Play Legend of Grimrock 2. Okay. Yeah. Is it on a console? I don't know if it's on a console. I think it is on PC only. Why didn't I hear anything about this game? It looks kind of cool. It is really cool. Got good uh, reviews. It, is, it was not. It got really good reviews. I'm very glad that it got good reviews because I loved Legend of Grimrock One. I think two years ago, uh, I had it number eight on my list. Mm -hmm. Um, and and this one was just so much higher because it was 2014 and the games were bad. No, no, no. This game is legitimately way, way better. I mean, really though? Yeah. It, could it possibly be better than looking twice at art? Veracity and purpose, like I find it that is. hard to believe, though it is better. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's better. I'm sorry, it was Jack. Kyle. Sassy he, I'm sorry, so, Jack. That was so mean. <laughs> it, it was it, so mean. It was kind of. Jack is it a was, sweet boy. Ja Jack is a very sweet boy. Is he a boy or a man? He's a boy. He's a he's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> he's a sweet even boy. Even if he was even if he was a man, I would call him a sweet boy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, what's your number one, buddy? My number one Let's is. Take this home. Uh, <laughs> my number one is Mountain Blade Star Wars Conquest. Wait, I thought it was gonna be Hearthstone. How is Hearthstone no. not on your list? Be I well, took it off. I took it off. To Hearthstone. Put Hearthstone was on my list last year. What the fuck is your number one again? It is my number one is is Star is Mountain Blade Star Wars Conquest. <sighs> that is a mod that came out for Mountain Blade five years ago. What? It no, had a huge no. update that made it actually playable this year, and I put more time Stop. and had more fun with this game than anything else this year, and it's number one on my list. Quick question, though. Because, yeah. listen, I had I had fun with a lot of old games this year, too, and I'm not saying that to be de like derisive or funny. Like There are older games that could have been on my list that weren't because yeah. they didn't come out this year. Mm -hmm. Describe to me the way in which it was made playable this year. Uh, it was... It's still fucking janky and busted as shit. I think the... the, the uh, 0.9 patch came out this year, and it like actually at, like added a bunch of stuff and made it so that it wasn't like just a skeleton of a mod. Still, like describe like how was it a skeleton? Why is it not a skeleton anymore? It did not. It it like just didn't have a lot of the features. Like the game is still sort of a certain percent unchanged from Mountain Blade. So like this this weird shit where you're like sometimes calling Mon uh, Mon Mothma like Your Highness. Or, uh, or no, his highness, um, because mm. that character just would have been like a dude king. Yeah, king. Mountain Blade, we should quickly explain, is like this strange kind of, you would almost say it's like a medieval combat sim where you like travel to different kingdoms and talk to people, but like the combat really tries as hard as possible to be like realistic to like to medieval martial combat. So you've got like pikes and swords and shields and stuff, and you play it from a first person perspective and you try to stab other people with right them. right like the the multiplayer of mountain blade is basically like medieval counter-strike like you start with money you spend the money on weapons and then you fight each other yeah and this is very similar to that except it is reskinned as a star wars game it has some weird extra systems S sorry star wars conquest star wars conquest um it's fucking so 
it is such an weird, interesting thing, and I put like eighty something hours into it. Like Listen, way too much. Like I just put an absurd amount of time playing this dumb mod. And your you, top ten list is a weird, interesting thing. And, yeah, and you feel that you would not have put this game on your list had this new patch come out. Yeah. So so okay. So number one, I had never played Mountain Blade. I didn't really know what it was until before this year. Number two, the 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 I I put more time and had more fun with Mountain Blade than basically anything else this year. And number three, there was a patch that made Star Wars Conquest uh, playable in a way that it had not been before this year. Let me ask this question. Yes. Ask. Should we do away with the restriction of the games having to have come out in the year that we're talking about? Maybe. I think that's an outdated rule. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, this is not okay. the point. No. No, all right, all right, okay, all right. Come, Come on, on. Okay. okay, okay. Think of who's okay. disagreeing with you right now. No, 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 he's no, right no, about... Think of your Maya's uh, A broken clock is right twice a day. Think of, Think about your Maya's Matas, Kyle. I'm thinking about it. I think we can be more flexible. There could have... No, no, there could yeah. have been... Th- I think that having it be a number one game on this list is flexible. That's, That's flexible. Flexible. Okay. flexible. We're being flexible. I Come on, that your Hearthstone. I think I mean, Hearthstone is flexible. I mean, we're already being flexible by him having those three Twine games on there. I don't yeah. think that's true at all. Those all came out this year. Well. Yeah, but... Um, this is a really good... They the came out when the typewriter came out. It's really fucking good. What? He was phenomenal. Yeah, okay. Uh, and it's all... It's lightsabers. Can we take a quick break? No, it's 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 a Twine game, so there's no lightsabers. In it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are lightsabers. There are fucking like they re- they made all of the wep like medieval weapons into uh, some of them into weird like there's there's regular lightsabers, not just swords, and then there's long swords, and there, those are lightsabers too, and are they're there, gigantic and goofy. Uh, that's funny. Are there vibro axes? There are vibro axes. Yes. There's bla- There's a bunch of different kinds of blasters. <laughs> Fuck yeah, and vibro fucking- axes. Can you ride speeder bikes? Yeah, you can ride speeder bikes. Oh, man. This game's really, really fucking stupid and weird <laughs> and hard and awesome. Is it's there so- multiplayer? Uh, there's not multiplayer. Uh, yeah. There, I think no, Keith. I think they're working... I think they're working multiplayer into it. This can't be on your list if there's no multiplayer. No, what? that was the only good thing about. Yeah, that's multiplayer. one of the things. Um, it, it, but so it's just there's something that is really, really great about having like you're on a speeder bike and you have a way too long lightsaber because it's actually a long sword and all of the and then you've got thirty. Uh, like assorted stormtroopers and Bothan spies and and Mandalorians all shooting blasters that have the physics of bow and arrows across the field. Oh come on! Army there's, of, there's bow physics on the lasers. Yes, there's Stop bow it. physics it's on in, the lasers. It's incorrect. And <laughs> and shooting that at a gigantic pile of of stormtroopers that have like weird dark Jedi and there's Twi'lex and Darth Vader is riding at you at a weird special speeder bike. So is it kind of like Star Wars Gary's mod? Yeah, sure. You're a monster. It's so <laughs> you've, good. You've destroyed. No, that's 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 fine. I'm, it sounds like fun. I it's it sounds very silly that it's your game of the year, but I guess I can't argue with you. I had it uh, as number. I had it. Here's the thing. I came in to this. I had it as like number nine or ten. Probably where it and should be. And then I was like, you know what? And you Fuck really that. thought about it. I'm gonna and you were do. Like, I gotta yeah. do me. Yeah. What was do, your game of the year yeah. before that? You do you, boo. Uh, the game of the year before that was Legend of Grimrock. Okay. My well. game of the year is me doing me. Also, the only thing, the only thing that I changed was I switched. I switched Mountain Blade from ten to one, and everything just bumped down one. I uh, gotta, I gotta say though, I I did this numerical system where like assigning games values based on their position. And then with the idea that games that appeared multiple on multiple lists would get the additions, there's almost no games that have appeared on multiple lists. There are two. So far, the only two that have appeared on multiple lists are neither of them are even on my list. So, well, we'll see what comes up. Yeah, uh, I don't even know if any of these games are on my list. Can we take a break? Can yeah, we go back to take a break. Yeah, all right, we're back. I mean, this is 
it it's almost seems ridiculous to even do a combined list at this point because like there's no overlap. So it's like, gonna be a Frankenstein right. list. <laughs> it's gonna be I, I would just like to suggest now that maybe we don't get too caught up in the placement or what games are on it because it's fucking stupid anyway. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, yeah. The, the thing that makes it work exercise. is that the thing that makes it work is that there usually is a Venn diagram. Yeah, like usually there is I would say it's like a 70-30 split of like games most of us have played and games only one of us have played. Right. Or or even less than that. But this year is just going to be like Wait, so you don't want to make a main list? I don't think we can. I think we I think we can try. I think we can try and it'll be fucking weird and no one will be happy. <laughs> yeah, that's what's fun about it. That's what makes it an entertaining no, discussion. I, I'm I'm always happy with the main list coming out of it. Yeah, you've said this. You're you're always the one who fights I'm the winner fucking of the list. Truth, you you fight tooth and nail. You always take this victim's perspective of like, but I like these games so much. Why would you move this fucking bullshit? Blah. And then as soon as we finalize the list, you're like, I fucking won. Yeah. Fucking winner of the list. This guy. He fuck claims you. that that's the list he wanted all along. Uh, yeah. it's, all right, it's, Keith. It's one of the it's one of the things I hate most about you, and I'm not exaggerating. I love I it. It's that. so much fun. It's all a bit. It's yeah, no, we know. We yeah. know this that guy fucking wins the list yet again. I won the list. We know that it's Winner stupid the list. and wrong. Keeper of the list. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and very good twine game by the way. Keeper of the list. That's not a twine game. You don't know how to do twine games. Uh, all right, I have a bunch of honorable mentions here. Okay. Uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I mentioned before. Um, it's like <laughs> just thumbs thumb and thumbs down on to- Toad. Um, it's just a delightful little game. It's like a little like puzzle platformer. It's if you guys don't know, it's like diorama style worlds where you're toad and he like walks at like this really slow pace, but you just like rotate the level around and just move around and like collect different treasures and stuff. And it's like N- Nintendo at the top of its game. Like it looks amazing. It's incredibly charming. Like just really well designed. It's just really enjoyable. It just uh, if, if it was at the top, didn't, it did. It, it's at the top of their game. Like doing a specific for, thing that for they that concept, yeah, because like those were like bonus levels in Mario 3D World, and I, I I'm saying like if you start with the premise of let's take those bonus levels and make it into its own game, they 100 percent did the best that anyone could have possibly done. But like those bonus levels are only so interesting, right? Okay, but it, it's it it should probably be on my list. It, like it just didn't make it, just barely. Uh, also, Jackbox Party Pack. We've we've talked a bunch of. I, uh, a brand new way to have a ton of fun with people uh, sitting around a TV. Um, Man, Drawful's really good. Hitman Go or Hitman Go. Hitman Go. Um, that that was another one. Almost made it on my list. A lot, is, of, a lot of diorama games this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a, so yeah. It, it has this whole like board game aesthetic. So they they took Hitman and like turned it into a turn based game essentially. But like really, really, really simplified the mechanics. It's basically like pieces that move around a board and like take each other like they the way they do in chess. But it's kind of like you can't move into a space where an enemy is looking because then the enemy will knock you off the board. But so you have to like move next to an enemy when they're looking away, and then like move on to them so you can kill them and create distractions for them. Yeah, it's a it, really cool game. It, it's they they do a lot with an incredibly simple uh, premise for a game, and it, it's really interesting. But the 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 more I think about it, even though I played it a lot and really liked it, like the whole time I was playing it, it just made me want to play like a better Hitman game. I was like, this is this is pretty fun, and it looks like this the visual style is really great. But it, at the end of the day, it didn't give me like the same satisfaction that an actual Hitman game does. Uh, Bayonetta two, uh, not on my list either. Really fun. I played it from start to finish, but it just like. A lot of its craziness and wackiness, while it was still done really well, and and the Platinum can do, like, scale in those games better than anybody. Like, they just have these insane, like, huge bosses and craziness. But um, I felt like most of, like, most of that was done in Bayonetta 1 already, and I thought Bayonetta 1 had, like, a way cooler, like, finale and everything. So Bayonetta 2, to me, just felt like a, like a less interesting Bayonetta 1 but with like slightly better like combat. Aren't we kind of over the weird sexism in that game too? The weird se- sexism is pretty distracting and weird, but like, yeah. Like, I mean, fucking, yeah. it's 2014, I, I was, man. 15 now. Bayonetta but. is weird because I feel like, like I was over the sexism of Bayonetta like the moment I heard about Bayonetta. 
But for like, I don't know. I can't explain why, but it feels like it gets away with it for some really strange reason. That I, I I can't really explain. I have not played either Bayonetta games. I have seen enough people that I have I have seen enough like smart women who are always writing about feminism writing about how they're fine with that game. So I don't yeah. know. I have. I, That's a sentence that has a number of issues, but <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, I, I don't think so. I mean. Y- I, I've heard, I would I've heard just the opposite too, though. So yeah, sure. People disagree. I would never argue with anybody that said that they felt that game was sexist right. and they found I it offensive. Yeah, but for some reason, I don't think I don't really find it that sexist for some reason. I, feel I don't like, know. I feel like, and I, I mean, again, like I, I would say Bayonetta is a better character than she appears to be on her surface. Okay. I mean, I mean, maybe that's an important message. Sure. I mean, I've watched a lot. I've watched like a video Andy, of this game, and stop like my slut shaming. I'm I'm not doing that. My my problem with it is like, I feel like it's offensive as like a male player. Like, I don't need you to make this fucking weird, sexy girl like hook for me to play your game. Like, yeah, can't she just be like a normal chick who like I play as? Like, do you have to patronize me in that? that like, yeah, that's I, you true. Know, like, well, why are you calling why are you calling Bayonetta that's not my normal? Issue. What's wrong with you? Yeah, uh, proportionally, what, what's she's, not normal. I believe right? she's proportionally impossible i'm pretty sure well i mean like yeah, a barbie I, sure i don't know anything in the about real bayonetta. world yeah. i have i bow out of bayonetta i don't know anything about I, it but uh the the one thing i'll say is great about bayonetta 2 is it actually comes with the with a wii u port of the first game in wow. the box so like you should totally go buy it because bayonetta 2 is great and it comes with the first one also uh some of the best character action games uh around i guess and yeah like the the boss fights and shit are just insane but like but like the the boss fight at the end of like bayonetta one was like this crazy thing where you were like fighting a god who was like bigger than the earth and then like bayonetta 2's final boss was like a dude with like stars on him he was like sparkly and it's like <laughs> not really fucking the same <laughs> um, get into that list uh Trials Fusion I had a lot of fun with, but I'm kind of like over Trials. She's not even done with the honorable mentions yet. Jesus. This fucking guy. God, fuck you guys. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I didn't get to play, but I heard a lot of people say good things about it. And I Did you just honorably mention a game you haven't played? Okay. That's silly. Honor- That's a silly thing to do. This like. is honorable mentions slash games I have not played. I Because I feel like Call of okay. Duty Advanced Warfare would probably have been on this list. If I had played it, I, heard I really asked good for it for that. Christmas. I fucking asked for it for Christmas. It was number two on my Christmas list. I didn't fucking get it from anybody. Sorry, bud. Sorry. Uh, Far Cry Four, same thing. Didn't play it, but it was probably a lot of fun. Um, and then Earth Defense Force twenty twenty five is uh. is fucking great, and it probably should be on the list. But I think too much about it is janky and dumb in a way that isn't good yes, that i can't you finally come around no i haven't come around at all that game's uh, awesome but I, also i just think like they added a bunch of different character classes and stuff like they kind of made it more complex in a way that i didn't really feel strength this is the, the one that we played that one time right yeah okay like i, I felt like edf 2017 really worked because you were just like the only way you could be was just a dude and they added like guys with, with jet packs and guys that we could had call a ton strikes. of fun with that that one time we had more fun with that that one time than we had with. The I remember you were all about it sh- that game. It should probably be on the list. It should probably be on your list. Bump off number ten. No. Switch them. Switch them. Switch them right now. Do it right no. now. And switch no, up now. I won't do it right now all because right. because I I went back to it also and I like played it for like thirty minutes or an hour and it was kind of like I just don't really want to play it more. Like I'm kind of good with it for now. Well, it's hard to force yourself to play a thing just for a. <sighs> well. Yeah, for but a second I thought you forgot to add these games to the list, but then I forgot you're still talking about your honorable mentions and games you haven't played. So what? Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Come that was my on. last one though. Um so okay, number ten, the hat trick, Diablo three Ultimate Evil Edition for PS4. That's okay. This is honorable mentions. No, this is number ten. Oh God, you <laughs> fucking piece of. That's that's why you don't have twenty twenty five on there. It's because you want your goof. Listen, you want your Diablo. No, goof listen, again. listen, listen. The goof part of it was only five percent of my decision to put it on the list. The other one is that uh, the Reaper of Souls DLC that or, or expansion pack that was part of this. It. Uh, it really changed a lot about the way the game works and made it way more fun. You don't have to play through like this. Like originally Diablo 3 was just play the single player campaign 
and then play it again on a harder difficulty and again on a harder difficulty and they completely change the structure of the game so you can like do any kind of like any part of the game that you want like with the story part of it removed yeah they added all these like extra rifts and stuff and completely changed like the weapon balance and everything and then also the fact that it was on my ps4 meant that i could play it on my vita and that was pretty awesome should i get it for xbox one you should get a PS4 and then a Vita and then get it for PS4. Is it really better on PS4 than Xbox One? It's yes. be- it's better because you can play it on your Vita. But I don't have a Vita. You should get a Vita. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming a very expensive problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, pay get it. Four hundred dollars for your new PS4. Sure, get it. Another. Get it for Xbox One. It's a fucking great game. You'll love it. Okay. Uh, they just price reduced the Xbox One again. Yeah, they they brought it for brought yeah, it down on to, their sale. They brought it down to three fifty for holidays, then brought it back to four hundred for two weeks, and then went like. Oh, we should probably bring it back down. Like it's insane that we raised the price on a like you can't raise the price on a console. Yeah, it's very strange. I went from being like I should buy an Xbox One at any minute to being like, oh, it's four hundred dollars again. I guess I'll wait till next holiday. <laughs> like, but now it's back down. Now it's back down. Yeah, yeah. You should get an Xbox One. Um, but uh, there there's some delay when you play games like the Vita. There's some delay that makes it like hard to play FPSs. But like Diablo three is the game that works best on remote play, and I even actually beat the game by remote playing it at work like i was at work in the break room with my vita and my ps4 was at home and i played it that way so i'm are you downloading a weird version of it to your vita or are you just is it it's, a stream it's literally like a video stream like it streams you of the screen that's incredible yeah um it, it really usually only works when you're doing it like in the same room as the ps4 or in the same house but like when you do it like over the internet it still works for like certain games like Diablo is a game that really doesn't rely on like really quick response time at all so you could just kind of like fudge your way through it um but yeah like I I went back to play it I was expecting not to put it on my list but I played it a little bit when I was making my list and I was kind of like this is kind of fucking great like I kind of fucking love this is like this the third year in a row this is the third year in a row I had it <laughs> I had it for PC when it came out on that on that and then I was like Diablo 3 I'm fucking done with that and then it came out on 360 and I was like I'm fucking stupid enough to try playing it on my 360 and I was like this is actually way better and then I and then I got it on PS4 and I was like it's actually way better again they keep making it better it earned its number 10 how slot does, three. How does Blizzard fucking do that? That's they amazing. like release a game and then like you play it two years later and it's like the sequel better, but you didn't have to buy it again. Yeah. No, he did. This, this it was. This I know. I, know. He <laughs> I it did like buy it again. Times, but technically, this was an expansion this time. Okay. So it was the expansion plus the original game okay. in one what thing. Uh, but, you know, still my number 10 three years in a row. Can I ask you a personal question? It managed to be the 10th best game for three years. You ready? Ask me a personal question. Uh, are you off of WoW or are you on WoW? He's off of WoW. I'm off of WoW. Even with Warlords of Drainer? I mean, I, I would love to play. I just don't have the time. Like, I don't have the time. I barely have the time to play 30-hour games. I can't play, like, the hundreds an of hours. Game. The endless, an yeah. endless game. I, I'll get to it later in my list, but I basically got my MMO fix from Destiny, which is, like, a mini MMO. It's like you can, get, you like... can get all the same stuff of an MMO out of it. But like in twenty to thirty hours instead of hundreds. I just feel like there's a point where you, where we've got to stop, cons- like, considering. We've got to consider the fact that we don't have to fucking beat a game. Yeah, like, no, we don't. We don't yeah. always have to beat a yeah. game. I we we gave Andy a lot of shit for it. But, but Andy was yeah, like, used to oh, fucking Andy used shit to be all like, over I played for that two shit. hours. Yeah, it's number Andy, seven. no, I didn't. Andy yeah. put God of no. War three on his list when he played it for like an hour at a friend's. House. I played it for four hours. Maybe I'm talking well, about like if you play that, 15 out like I played 20 I played 20 hours of of uh, Inquisition which is a hundred hour game and that's that's the okay yeah I think you're on is. your fucking phone you're I aming a girl on G chat put your fucking computer no, I'm not on my phone what the fuck are you talking about you were on your phone that. a second ago I saw you I was looking at this fucking list you dick you, you want to see my liar. multitasking bar. Your mother. I wasn't. Ooh, you've got a multitasking bar in there. Well, you go like this. See, I got. This is the list. Oh, it's just. This is okay. video of the stupid ass games Keith was talking about. You got a about. six, right? That's six. Uh, Rock. Yeah, six. Okay. We got we both got. Six. I just have it on my lap. I wasn't doing. Keith, Keith just has a broken Windows phone that's three years old. Yeah. yeah. Why do you still have that? Because I'm getting a new phone soon. It's, I've had it for two years. Please get an iPhone. I'm probably getting an iPhone. Oh, Should get an I, iPhone. That's a good idea. Are you going to wait for the 6S or are you going to Then, get the then you can play uh you can no. play second best game of the year Monument Valley. Mm. I would like to play that. I'd like to play 80 Days. All right, let's uh let's move along here. Uh Middle-earth Shadow of Mordor. 
Sure. Um, yeah, just you know, fun. The Nemesis system is super cool. It's just like there. I uh, can't. Who's your biggest Nemesis? I my biggest Nemesis. Mine was Latbag. Yeah, what was he? Lat what was bag? Or lug something. Lug bug. What was lug bug's thing? <laughs> lug it's all. Bug. Um, I mean, it is pretty impressive that like all the, you know, the experience I had with playing that game was like all all of the captains in the game are like supposed to be randomly generated. All their, you know, their tr- fa- their face, their name, their traits are all random and like unique to your game. And I kind of find myself going like, I guess that's cool, but it doesn't really matter. They're all just orcs. Who cares? And then well, I remember, they're not just they're people, Kyle. Orcs are people. <laughs> I remember there was this one guy. I think his name was like, I, like as douche man breaker or something. And he definitely wasn't as douche because he killed me like three times. Even like one time I was just fighting some other captain. He just jumped out of nowhere like I'm here now and said something like, oh, "How many times do I have to kill you before you get the point?" And I was like, "Oh, you have killed me so many times. I hate you." Mm-hmm. And then, but then I managed to kill him. And I was like, "Yeah, fuck you. You suck." And then like later he shows up again and he's got like pale skin and like a scarred eye and he's like, "Ah, you thought you got me, but I'm back." And I'm like, "Oh, no, fuck you." Yeah, that blew my mind when they came yeah. back. I'm like, "No." So you're saying thumbs up Nemesis system. Thumbs up Nemesis system, definitely. I mean, it, it, it's not like that one specific moment was pretty cool, but I haven't really had a ton of experiences like that with it. I really liked like when you start to when you get to take over the orcs. Yeah, and you like send I, them up the chain of command. I basically just got to that point in the game. Okay, it's awesome. Um, yeah, it's there's nothing about the game. The Nemesis system is the best thing, but there's nothing about it that I think is like phenomenal. It's just fun to play, and I want to keep playing it. Uh, it adds. I, do you it adds think a, that, that because Andy has played more of it than you, you're going to start seeing more of the Nemesis stuff pop up, and it'll be cooler and create more of those moments. Why would that mm, be a no, causal I, relationship? I, I, I'm, because I'm not about, like played it long enough means not having as many Nemesis. Nemesis. No, I, I, I've still played like the the Nemesis system. It's like um, you don't have one guy who's like your Nemesis. There's just like thirty orc captains. No, that's and what like, I mean. You but can like, just you have still, those experiences. Like, well, the you, longer you play the game, the more time you have to recognize a name true. That you've seen before. You yeah. can have a main nemesis. Oh, of, really? Eventually. Yeah. I mean, the thing it just adds like a really cool texture to an open world. I think like a narrative kind of yeah, bent it to it. You know. Um, I though I don't know if this was there the whole time I had the game or if they patched it in, but I did notice that they, they just added in the ability to like reskin your character with like a different female character. Who's like some other part of the story. And uh, I started liking the game a lot more when I could do that. Just she's, cause I like to play as girls. She's pretty. I don't know. She pretty. She's pretty. That, that game's pretty. Like just the, like you like, all you see is obviously like the character's back the whole time, but it's such a good looking back. It's, it's got like back. the two swords and everything. Solid back. Yeah. Here's solid, the thing. solid back in a the game. A fucking double sword, like on the back. It's the it coolest looks so thing. so good. I yeah. Would say, Witcher 2. Yeah. Witcher, yeah. Witcher 2. Uh, especially if they're facing the same direction. Like that's what's cool Yeah. It, it. The same direction. I, the only two I know is, is the Witcher and Shadow of Mordor, but like, yeah. Cause I'm I, sure there's more. I, I started Shadow of Mordor and I was like, oh shit, this reminds me just of the Witcher. I already love this. I gotta play The Witcher two before Witcher three comes out. Witcher two is really fun. Witcher two is really a good game. Should I just wait for Witcher three? Play Witcher two. Maybe right. I don't know. Yeah, uh, play, yeah, play it. You gotta add it to add the sh- the two to the. Oh, shit. Four up there. My next one is Smash Brothers Wii U. Yeah. Um, is there anything super functionally different between the two games? Uh, you have a right analog stick. Um, I mean, I mean, I like I, I in, like I like the classic mode a lot more. Let me let me write this. Uh, Oh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is already up there. Since you're doing your list, would you like me to do the writing? Yeah, do that. Give me, well, oh. no, you you go on your thing. You what invited makes, me to... Can you guys help me out? What makes Smash Bros. Wii U the one, the Smash Bros.? Let me, let me share with you, Keith. Hold on, I'm sharing with Keith. No, you already shared with me. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. You keep going. What makes it different? Not, I, like, I mean, is I it don't... really better than the Wii one? I don't know. I, I I honestly don't know. I I haven't gone back and looked at the Wii U one, um, but it just it just feels better in a way that I can't really explain. Um, I I like Duck Hunt a lot. Duck Hunt is a big one. Yeah, it's just it's just more fun to play. I don't know. I don't really know. The the online is better. Like, you really don't want to combine the Smash Brothers? Yeah, we'll combine the Smash Brothers. Okay. Just make it Smash Brothers Four. Oh, Smash Brothers Four. 3DS, Smash Brothers 4, Wii U. I get it now. Oh, uh, yep. There we kind go. of like a Geometry Wars 3. 
is dimensions. Called, is it called Smash Brothers 4? It's called Smash Brothers 4 3DS, Smash Brothers 4 Wii U. Uh, mm. But, and also this... this stop that's, that. You take that right off. That's juvenile. This is a, 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 a total aside, but Geometry Wars 3 came out, and it's called Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions. Yeah. Because everything is three-dimensional. It's Geometry Wars three dimensions. Is it good? Did you play it? I heard it was terrible. It's like whatever. I heard it was not terrible, but okay. It's it's okay. It's it like, was not Bizarre Creations, though, right? It was another no, studio. No, Bizarre Creations no. is done. Yeah, yeah they, they did. Did. Well, I don't know. They bring studios back. I don't know. <laughs> no, they don't. They've done it before. I'm I don't sure. if they brought a whole studio back. I don't not know. Really. That's, I don't. I don't think it doesn't so. seem like something. Every, so you wait, wait. You just made a claim, but had no evidence to support <laughs> and, it. And, and then when we asked you about it, it doesn't sound like okay. something that is beyond the scope of reason. Right, I just want to be clear that you were wrong and lied. That's all. I didn't lie. No, I just made a guess. Okay. Um. I don't know anything else about Wii U. Probably not Smash Brothers. I'm just. The main thing about Smash Brothers is that I'm shocked that I liked it as much as I did. And I have other Nintendo games like that on my list, too. But it was just like, I was so convinced that I was done with Smash Brothers. And I was like, oh, you got me. This is, like, totally super fun. So That's good. Uh, Wolfenstein, The New Order. Oh, I really wanted to play that. It's really good. Uh, I had, I think I had to decide between, like, playing that one. That This was, like, one that I played in, like, December like, the second half of December. Like, I really crammed it in. Uh, but I'm glad I did, because it was a lot of fun. Um, it, should, it like, strikes this really odd tone with its story, but it totally nails it, where it's, like, it still has, like, the silliness of, like, robot suit Nazis and shit. Like, okay. But also, like, kind of takes it really seriously. Like... Have you read uh, any Philip K. Dick? Uh, no, I haven't read any Philip K. Dick. Okay. I he wrote, he wrote this one book called Man on Man High on Tower. Cast- yeah. A high castle. castle. Yeah. And uh, it's like about like if the Nazis in Japan won the war. Yeah, I heard about that. It's like super interesting. I, really I fucking good. love shit that does like alternate history mm-hmm. like universe shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's weird because this is like an alternate history of like an alternate history. Like the alternate history is that like the Nazis like uh, BJ Blaskowitz, a.k.a. Wolfenstein guy, gets like put in a coma for like... St- 14 years or something and wakes up and like the Nazis won the war and like they they took over the world okay. but like also before that happens they still had like Nazis in robot suits and like crazy like Tesla coils backpacks and shit so like gotcha. it was already completely off the rails what number was Wolfenstein for you uh it was my sixth got it so it was four yeah um and it's a lot of fun I I think they what's works best about it is that they What's up? Tell them to scroll down. See these signals that you guys do don't work. Yeah. Scroll down. Work. What do you mean? On the on the screen. Let's do this for one thing. What's that? What's GS? Uh, game sound. Ah, it's holding steady at nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no game. Yeah. Um. That I I like that the Wolfenstein does like all out action really well like you can dual wield like basically any weapon so like you just walk around with like dual AK47s essentially or dual assault rifles they're not 47s but uh but there's also really good stealth in it which is is really fun to do like sneak up behind guys and i like that they give you like a map and there's like tons of like collectibles to find it it feels like they is they it kind open of world no it's like open environment okay um it it just feels like they kind of said like okay wolfenstein is like a really old first person shooter with its roots like in the past so let's look at those games and try to like take some stuff from them and it's so it feels like a really good marriage of like modern game design and also like concepts like hey what if we made instead of the level being a completely straight path what if like we gave the the player a map because it was actually like a little bit complicated to walk around Mm. it just it's it's fun it's engaging the story is is really cool and really well done i like it Fun. Hyrule Warriors is my number five. That's that far up? Yeah, I don't know. I just had a lot of fun fucking playing Hyrule Warriors. What is it? No one, I've never heard anyone coherently describe. Oh, you know describe. Dynasty Warriors. It's, it's Zelda Dynasty Warriors. 
Like okay. it's made by the Dynasty Warriors. I've got people. your back. I, the Dynasty Warriors is fucking fun as shit. So. Oh, it's literally like exactly yeah, it that. It is a skin of Dynasty Warriors that is Zelda. So like the official name of the series is the Warriors series because there's mm-hmm. like Samurai Warriors and Warriors Orochi. So that's why it's called Gundam Hyrule Warriors. Warriors. Okay. Um, so it really is just Dynasty Warriors. Do you play Zelda. as Link? You play as all kinds of characters. From wow. Zelda. So you go around and you find the big dots in your map Tingle. and you beat them? Yep. Nice. Yeah. It's just just a lot of fun. Uh, the the storyline was like... The, sto- the storyline, like the levels were fun. Like the story is like this weird thing. They were like, the timelines are all converging. So we have Zelda characters from all of the Zelda games conveniently. Great. Is Wind Waker Zelda in there? No. that's uh, That would have been what? great though. Yeah. That was like the one misstep. The one thing wrong with Hyrule Warriors, really. <laughs> The thing Wait. keeping this from the number one spot, but so it, so what's the campaign? What's the narrative? Is there anything? The narrative is like what you just said. Oh, we gotta we gotta beat up Ganondorf, but instead of just sending one person this time, let's send like a whole army, and uh, and then yeah, let's rip- send a whole useless army again and Link against their useless army and Ganondorf. R- rifts open in time, so it's like. Oh, Link, you go to Twilight Princess World, and you go to Ocarina of Time World. Okay. And so it's like you have locations and characters from all the different Zelda games. And uh, and after you finish the campaign, there's like this whole uh, adventure mode where it's like a grid that looks like the overworld map for the NES Zelda game, and you can move around, and there's like different challenges on each square, and you can like collect items that unlock other challenges. So there's It's like- so weird to me that this game was even made. It is really weird, but it's fun. It's fun, guys. We have um, Keith and I did a video for Dynasty Warriors Gundam two and three, and I did a video with Jordan of Hyrule Warriors. You should go check them out because, like, the, like Dynasty Warriors is kind of a joke, and they're like, yeah, they're they're a little they're a little silly, they're yeah. a little stupid, they're weird. But uh, the the two that I've tried, which are just like Gundam, the Gundam series and Hyrule Warriors. I've liked a lot. I don't really like the aesthetic of the actual Dynasty Warriors games. What are you doing? I just put your ne- I just guessed what your next game is. Twisting Passages, a study of corridors and their effect on medieval architecture. <laughs> it's architecture yeah. I'm glad Nintendo's that, to- that is actually, I mean, it's not on my list, but it is definitely my favorite Twine game of this year. <laughs> uh, just having some fun with lists. I'm glad Nintendo's uh, playing fast and loose with their licenses. Getting a little, getting a little, yeah, getting a little squirrely in yeah. there. Yeah. Though Keith and I are learning that Nintendo used to be pretty lax with how they threw <laughs> yeah. around Mario in the past. <laughs> yes, they were. Uh, oh boy. You want to play Mario Teaches Typing? Nope. How about Mario's Game Gallery, where you can play checkers and go fish against Mario? What? Yeah. yeah. He might be like your weird uncle. Is this just the- when they were literally making any game and slapping <laughs> Mario on it to make money? There's, there's, there. It feels like that a little bit. But the surprising part is that the guy that vo- Charles Martinet, who who does the Mario voice, uh-huh. he who does Mario, it's a me Mario. Woo-hoo! Uh, he was actually that was in, not a bad Mario. He was in Mario. <laughs> It's super easy to do. I can't do they it. They will have no trouble replacing Martinet when he dies. Sorry, Charles. <laughs> Scandal. Uh, but uh, he was actually in Mario's game gallery as the voice of Mario before Mario 64. It was shocking. What? Oh, my God. I don't know why that's important. I'm a Luigi. Does he also do Luigi? <laughs> oh, yeah. He does Luigi. Good. He, he does, he does and, yeah, Wario and Waluigi. Good. Waluigi is my favorite voice. And the upcoming good, Waluigi's good, the not best. evil, but also evil version of Wario called Ma Wario. Here's what, here's what I learned no. this year, Kyle. <laughs> no. Kyle, I learned this year, everybody fucking loves Waluigi. Everybody but you. No, just Dan Riker likes Waluigi. No. Fuck Dan. First of all, fuck Dan Riker. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. Who's Dan Riker? We're not going to talk about it. He's just to do the worst for Giant Bomb. Okay. Uh, everybody loves Waluigi. Do you guys know Dan Riker? No. No. Oh. Uh... Everybody loves Waluigi, and you're wrong that nobody likes Waluigi. I like Waluigi. I like him in the sense that he's such a stupid creation that yeah, shouldn't exist. It's like he's almost so dumb that it's impossible. It's a you joke. You guys are ridiculous. It's you like the, the same way you like like a like a Big Mac. It's a guilty pleasure. I think what? It's, I think it's really no. That makes perfect sense. I think it's dumb that Waluigi's not in Smash Brothers, but I do love playing in Smash Brothers as Mario with like his color scheme set to Waluigi. 
So he has like a purple hat and purple overalls. Purple's a good color. First of all, purple's a good color. Second of all, Waluigi's awesome. And no. everybody's gonna everybody's gonna comment on this and say Keith is right, Kyle's stupid and mean, and Waluigi is great. Waluigi sucks. Keith and Andy, I'm arguing with Dan you. Right. Dan Reichert has Kyle kind and- of convinced me to like Waluigi, and I don't feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Uh, my next game was Mario Kart 8, which uh, is the most surprising game for me, I think, because I never would have believed in a million years that I would enjoy another Mario Kart game, especially not like enough to put it on my game of the year list. But before before I was able to play it, people were saying shit like it's the best Mario Kart game. I saw like some website did like a here's like our ranking for like best to worst Mario Kart games. And I like agreed with the entire list, but then Mario Kart 8 was number one, and I was like, hmm, okay, I guess I'll try it. And like, yeah, it's totally the best Mario Kart game. For Is sure. it just like the updated graphics and like fidelity? It's or? just, I mean, yeah, it looks phenomenal. I think it's just like the tracks are more fun than they've been in the past, and also they brought back a mechanic that hadn't been in it since Super Nintendo. Which is that there's coins on the track, and when you pick up the coins, it gives you like a very slight speed boost. So there's actually like you know, there's a lot of strategy to like collecting the coins as you drive through, and then you drop coins if you get hit. So there's like a whole. It feels like you're constantly thinking about what you're doing and trying to get coins, mm-hmm. versus like in another Mario game, you might be like, oh, I'm just holding on the gas button and driving. <sighs> Keith is added to the list. Crumbs on wet tables. The life and times of Edna, comma lunch lady. <laughs> Uh, Keith likes his own jokes. I fucking love my own jokes. Listen, Andy, you don't like your own jokes? Yeah, but then I let it go. <laughs> we move on. Uh, yeah, Mario Kart 8, super fun to play. Also had pretty good online, so it was a lot of fun to, to play against can people. Can we play some of that after this? Yeah, we can play some of that. Um, and I was also surprised one of the few times Nintendo has done DLC. They did like a really good... There was, there's two DLC packs. One's huh. not out yet. You can get like one for eight dollars or both for fourteen or no, both for twelve. And uh like the first pack added like eight tracks and like and the next one's gonna add eight and they add like eight new characters. Just like a ton of shit that they threw in there. That's so weird to think about. I never thought about the fact that Nintendo never does DLC yeah. ever. And it's it's really interesting because they they took this weird approach to it where like a lot of times It'll just, like, DLC will just be, like, on a store list somewhere. Like, I don't know, fuck, we have DLC, just pay for it. But, like, Nintendo knows that they don't do DLC a lot, so it feels like, like, no, we really have to, like, get it. Like, we really need to, like, sell this to people. So, like, if you pick, like, DLC on the options list, it's, like, a huge, like, splash screen with, like, big colorful graphics and, like, almost, like, an an advertisement for it. Like, here's why you want this DLC pack. Right. I... Uh. It felt it felt nice to me because it felt like they knew that uh, that it like that that like that they needed to sell it to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fucking hate when games it, they just feel like oh, we'll put this here. People will probably give us money for that. No, fuck you. Yeah. I hate you and your stupid DLC. Do some work. Give me some good DLC. Like uh, one of them was a Zelda track where all the coins were turned into rupees. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's cool. Pretty good. I like that. That's and good, and there's yeah. a F Zero track. When are they going to make a new F Zero? They're not. Is that not happening ever? New F Zero 2017. That's my announced in 2017. How insane is it that like one of the main characters of Smash Brothers is like Captain Falcon, like a character that you basically never saw yeah. before Smash Brothers? Captain Brothers? Falcon is not a Nintendo staple anymore. He is a Smash Brothers staple. Yeah, he re- I mean, that's where I know him from. Right, I don't, yeah. You know, like I played an F. I think I played an F Zero game. He's, he's, he's just the guy that drives. The, like you never see him in F Zero because he's in the car. Yeah. What if they decided that he had Falcon punches and Falcon kicks, and also said them really loud when he did them? What's your next thing? Destiny. How the hell is it that far up on your list? I don't know. I just liked it a lot. I thought it was really fun, and a lot of people... Andy's co- very judgmental. A lot of For people... For someone with the worst taste in games, Andy is super <laughs> judgmental about you video games. You put three fucking Twine games on your game of the I year list. I have to explain what Do not what talk about my taste you. in Guys, games, stop sir. stop fighting. No. Nerd on nerd violence. Um, what if this whole show is a PSA for nerd on nerd violence? Oh, God. Uh, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, guys. Oh, right. God. 
uh, a lot of, a lot of people complained about how grindy Destiny was. I mean, I definitely agree with like most of the criticisms. Like it could have used more content for sure. Um, the story was like literally non-existent. Like there's no story in Destiny at all, which was so weird because of how much they talked about it. Yeah, yeah. That's what was weird about Destiny for me. It was like it was just. I feel like it was we were sold a bill of goods that was not what it was. I feel the reason I liked Destiny so much was because I held off on buying it until I heard, like, everyone's criticism so that, like, I knew what I was getting into. Like, okay, I've come to terms with what Destiny is, and now I'm going to play See, it. See, I did the thing where I read the review, and I was like, no, <laughs> it can't be that way, and I bought it, and I was like, oh, God. Um, but I still, I, I've had a lot of fun with MMOs in the past, so I was kind of interested in that it's like, oh, it has a lot of, like, the end game rating concepts that are in World of Warcraft, but instead of playing a game for, like, 500 hours before I get there, I'll only have to play it for, like, 15 hours. But you, no, you still have to play more than that to get to the point where you can do a raid. Like, I beat that game, yeah, all, all the single player content in that game, and I never got to the raid, like. No, no, you can't get to the raid just by doing, like. The the, the content big, that's there. biggest quotes around this right now story mode in <laughs> Destiny, but uh, but like you you don't have to play that much more to get to from level twenty to twenty four. Like you just have to do like a handful of uh, like what are they called strikes? I'm twenty right dungeons. now. What uh? Oh, you don't have a PS4. How do I get some light? How can do you get, get me light? Some, can you get me some here? light motes? Um. No, <laughs> no, I'm just shaking my head at something Keith is writing in the Google Doc. Uh, it's probably your worst one. Light is, light is just a thing that will be in certain pieces of armor when you get them. And then most gear, if you level it up once, it will add one light. So it'll go from like plus eight light to plus nine light. And then the more light you have, the more light levels you get. Okay. And light levels are levels after you hit 20. Why don't they just keep going up instead of stopping at 20 and then giving you light levels? Because then when, like, Destiny 2 comes out, they can... So, like, they're kind of modeling after WoW. The way WoW works is you get to the level cap, and then there's, like, you know, it'll be, like, a level 60 character, and then there will just be, like, better and better and better gear to the point where, like, someone who has the best gear is practically, like, level 70. But then, like, once the expansion comes out, they can just have all the level 61 gear be, like, better than the gear that, like, the really, like, geared up 60 guy had before. So, like, everyone's back. It, like, levels the playing field out. Like, you just need to get, Dang. like, level 61 gear, and then everyone's at the same level again. Dang. But doesn't that create an, an enormous gap between yes. 60 and 61 that does not exist between, like, 57 and 58? Yeah, it does. Uh, like that that's what happened with like World of Warcraft. They've gotten better at it, but there was that specifically happened with the first expansion. There was like a huge gap between like level sixty gear and sixty one gear. Um I don't know what like Bungie's plan is with Destiny, but that's like they're I don't think they're doing it for any reason other than to just kind of model it after World of Warcraft. Like, oh you hit the level cap, but then you kinda keep leveling a little bit. Didn't you also didn't they also just release an expansion that's like nothing as well? Yeah, it's like it's a small expansion. Uh, it was like three, like three, three, three man dungeons and then one raid, I guess. I have, I haven't played it, but I, I haven't gotten to the raid, unfortunately, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I left this game off my list. It was a spite leave off my list. It wasn't because it like mechanically wasn't yeah. like hanging with those other games. Like, like, and they talked about this on the giant bomb end of the year thing a lot too, but like. The mechanics of that game are fucking amazing and beautiful, and I think the even the AI types, the way they differentiate like species, are really cool. I wish I knew why they were different species and shit, or AI like why types. they were there. Yeah, like you had like the the final. What was the last one you meet? Was like the clan or the uh, um, not the clan? That's not that's bad. The uh, you know the guys that jump around. That. Oh, the ro like the robots? Wait, what? no, they were like the big beefy guys that jumped around at the end of that game. Oh yeah, those are the cabal. cabal. The cabal. Yeah, you got like, it at the same time. Like those the guys were super fun to fight. Yeah, yeah, everything was super. Oh, fun Oh, you to just fight. you when you said AI, you just mean like the enemies. Yeah, not like because I was gonna say like the cabal. They're people, not not artificial no, intelligences. None like the. I get facts. it. Now. I get it. 
Um, I like that. I like that they had a race that their weak spot was their like abdomen instead of their head. Yeah, so you had that was to good. aim differently. It was cool. Um, I might play a little bit of that. Some cool stuff home. in that game. It's a fun game. It's a fun game, guys. Sure, it's a fun game. But, that's sure. but like, it's surrounded by so much bullshit, and yeah. it's just so it was hard, too hard for me to get through. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't break through that. Yeah, I, I understand that. It's it's. It's definitely not a game for everybody the way, like, Call of Duty or Halo was a game for, for everybody. Mm. Um, uh, I think they meant it to be a game for everybody. Yeah, sure they did, but they didn't. They, they didn't. Well, they didn't succeed in that. They still succeeded, it succeeded in making my fourth favorite game of the year. And that's the What's thing. You, we, we were told it was going to be a different thing than what it was. And I felt that was a shitty thing to do. Oh, I felt like it was from, exactly yeah. what I expected it to be and that I was never what? interested in it at all. By what standard? No, it was always sold as this fucking, like, Halo on steroids, like, giant yeah. world. Uh, that's maybe how they sold it, but that's never how it looked to me. I was never. Yeah, I never saw that game. I, and saw I tr- as a consumer, I trusted them because of what they had created before, and so like I felt like I felt like almost on a personal level a little offended that like well, like I trusted this company to make this thing that they were saying they were making, and it wasn't the thing they said. Like, mm. so I mean, normally I would have that skepticism with like any other yeah. game, you know, but like I was like, it's Bungie, like they always make awesome shit, you know. So anyway, that's yeah. kind of my thing with that game. Uh, my next one should probably be really quick. My number three game is Dark Souls 2. Um, a game I was incredibly excited for and didn't end up finishing. So, like, in some ways, it was like I really wanted it to be, like, my game of the year. And it ended up, like, I, I when I went to make my list, I actually forgot about Dark Souls 2. Like, I forgot it even happened this year. Is it because you got busy or is it because you lost interest? It was it was mostly because I got busy. Okay. Um but but I actually put it back in to like play like I should play a little bit before I leave it off my list and then I was immediately like oh shit yeah Dark Souls two is like a really good game it's I, like I want really more, really fun I should play more Dark Souls yeah you you really should so that that's all like all I could say about Dark Souls two is like it's Dark Souls but it's Dark Souls again it's not quite as good but it's still really really good how about how's your how's your what's your next one uh. My number two game of the year is, uh, now hear me out on this one, guys. It's the Pinball Arcade. Okay, no, I'm on it. I'm on that. I'm on, I'm on board. Uh, a game that came out, uh, Andy, Andy is walking away. <laughs> Bye, Andy. Bye. Bye. Bye Andy. See, Andy's a jerk. Uh, Andy's kind of a jerk. Yeah, but it's um, kind of my thing. Find a better thing, dude. Find a dude. Find a thing. <laughs> find a thing that doesn't make us excited to see you and then immediately angry at you. No, this is part of our our uh, rapport here. You know, the problem is most like at this point we only talk to Andy when it's game of the year because game of the year is all only about being mean and angry at one another. Mm-hmm. That's not true. I'm I not have... mean or angry with that. I'm just I'm just a target. This I time. have virtues. Listen, Keith, it's yeah. fine. You had your silly games. That's fine. I got some silly games. I got the pinball arcade on there. Guys, mm-hmm. don't put me on the wrong side of the internet. I I just want to be everyone's friend okay. here. All right. Okay. I I've played the pinball arcade. So the the version that I'm putting in my list is PS4 because that's the version that came out in 2014. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's also <laughs> it's also on every other platform available. I love your just you're looking for games that have been out. On <laughs> <this>. <laughs> but um, the thing was like. Anytime it came to another platform, it would cost like $5 or like $2 and you would get like one pinball table that came with it. And that was the only one that I played. And that's a really fun one. But the only, I got it used on disc for PS4. And when it came on disc, it came with the entire season one table set. So it was like 30 pinball tables. So I got to play all of them. And uh, it got me like way more into the game in a way that I hadn't before. But, but Kyle, isn't the fun of a pinball machine like the the tactile experience? That's part of it. Yeah, I think it also is like the super interesting and intricate design of the tables. Yeah, and and the thing I love about so the pinball arcade only features digital versions of real pinball tables that existed, and I I really like. Because any pinball or, uh, pinball game I've ever played, I never knew the rules to it. I just kind of like played it and tried to make things happen. But I really like that you can actually read the extensive rules about the pinball table and actually like learn how to play it and then try to get really good scores. It's also, I think another super interesting thing about the pinball arcade is because like pinball machines are fucking old as shit and they're falling apart. Yeah. And the pinball arcade is like this super interesting like like archival tool to keep these things that are going to exactly. just stop working around. Is there yeah. anyone in the world making pinball machines still? Yeah, yeah. Really? Like like one company like basically. Yeah. But okay. like still like the ones that still come out 
people will play them and be like, this is one of the greatest pinball games ever made. So, yeah. like, there are people out there that are still totally into pinball. It's just like, you know, two come out a I year. I could see that being a thing that I have in my basement when I'm, like, 40. <laughs> you know, like a pinball machine? Like, that's totally something yeah. that would be cool to have. But, yeah, it's, like, a lot of upkeep, though. Because, like, as soon as, like, one part on it breaks, it's like, nah, forget it. Like, like I remember uh, this year, a few times, I ran into, like... Um, real versions of game of pinball tables i had been playing in the pinball arcade and i was like oh shit this is so awesome there's one it's a real one that's here and then i would go to play it and be like oh the right flipper is like kind of broken so that it only flips out like 70 percent of the way so like this whole table is like a piece of shit basically um i also played it so i, I got it on ps4 and then also got it on vita <laughs> and the reason it's so high up on my list is just because like i spent an insane amount of hours like anytime i had spare spare moment at all for like the first six months of 2014 i would take out my vita and start playing a pinball game on it so yeah pinball kyle your number one game of the list of the list my number one game of the list is fantasy life oh for for nintendo 3ds this was a game i had literally not heard of until nicole said i heard about this game called fantasy life it sounds like medieval fantasy animal crossing and i want it and so i I i'm looking it up quick so like andy was on the stream when i did my crowdfunding to buy nicole a copy of fantasy life you're welcome so yeah keith paid for half of it and who else paid (laughs) for half of it (laughs) there were like i think it was a couple smaller it was a 40 dollar game keith keith paid for 20 dollars, and one of our viewers paid for 20 dollars. it was a very nice thing for both of them to do um, so I, I got this game for Nicole just because I genuinely didn't have enough money to get it for her, but felt that she deserved it. And she started playing it for a while, and then like I got interested and started playing it. It's I've tried to like I was on a stream once and I said I've been playing Fantasy Life a lot. It's really fun, and people were like, "What's that? How do you play it?" And I started describing it, and I realized it sounded like literally every RPG ever made. Like it sounded like the most boilerplate thing. It's like, well, it's like kind of. It's like a you're in a fantasy world, and you can kind of be like a mercenary or like a paladin, but there's also jobs like uh, blacksmithing and fishing and stuff. You can cook, and you can cook, and so it's like you. You make things as a blacksmith, or you can you can mine the metals to that you can then make things as a blacksmith with, and you get better at blacksmithing stuff. And then also sometimes you fight like fantasy monsters. It's a, it's a game. It's like it's it's a game about it's like a mundane, yeah, job. It's a job game. Yeah, Animal Crossing is not really a great comparison because that's first of all, Animal about, Crossing about, is stupid and boring. How about Animal Crossing meets uh, Dragon Age? Yeah, kind of like that. It. It, but cute, very cute, leaning towards cutesy. The way, uh, the way Phil Phil started playing it a couple weeks ago, um, and he tweeted that fantasy life is like an MMO, but made for normal people instead of cold, heartless robots. <laughs> so it, there's like a lot of things that are like systems that are in MMOs, like like professions, like you can you can mine mine gold out of a cave and then use the gold to make a gold sword. Um, and it, it's really hard to describe why it's so I found it so addictive, but it's just like really delightful. Like the whole world just looks so nice. Everything is so happy looking. And instead of it just being like, oh, I have to mine things to like level up my mining. There's just always like this huge list of like small objectives. Like it'll be like, go to this cave and mine like five gold deposits. And then once you do that, you get like some experience points. And it's like, okay, I'm pretty much done with mining gold now. And then it'll be like your blacksmithing will be like you'll want to just make your own armor for for to wear to fight enemies but also there'll be like different challenges like make this kind of armor make a great quality this or a good quality that it's like i i can't even i can't even explain why it's fun now it's just like it's just really solid <laughs> it's just really well made all right it looks cute. and and, and uh, you're a family man now, so this is it's fun. It's just the games it can you just play. be Kyle. It the, can just be fun. The story, I I like. Does it have heart? This the story is weird. It's 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 really weird that pretty much every character that has been presented as a villain in the story, you come to learn it's like not that bad. 
Like there's like a <laughs> there's like a bad thing that's happening in the background, but mo- mainly you're like, oh, this guy's really bad. He's gonna do some evil things, and then you realize actually he's just a nice guy. And then there was like this um, country in like this nation in like the desert, and it had this sort of like Middle Eastern theme. And there's like a guy who who rules there. It's called the Dark Sultan. And I was like. Oh man, are they gonna totally play up like this sort of like Middle Eastern like desert nation as being like super evil? Because that's gonna be problematic for me. But then actually, you just find out that like he's just a really nice guy, and it was like a whole misunderstanding. <laughs> like everyone is just like it's just this super fun game that's like really You're saying friendly it's got a lot of pluck. Everybody's like nice. Pluck. Yeah, um, I like the story is really compartmentalized. So like most of the game has no story at all, and then once in a while it'll be like. There's, like, one character that you can talk to to, like, initiate the next chunk of the story, Mm -hmm. and then it's all story. Can I borrow this game? Um, I guess so. Sure. Cool. Um, Great. I I actually skipped over, like, I was, it's, it felt kind of boring at first, I'll be honest, and Nicole was like, I started enjoying it more once I started skipping a lot of the story sections, and so I just started, like, mashing A through the story, and that made me really like it. But then once I got later in the game, I actually liked the game so much to that point that I didn't want to skip the story anymore. So now it's like, I don't know the whole story because it's kind of like this so weird patchy thing where there's like I, huge chunks that I skipped and like some parts that I really paid attention to. I, I think I just like, I like boring shit sometimes. Yeah, it's just, it's just a, it's just a fun little game. It's, it's cool. It, it, yeah, I'm going to borrow know. it. I'm going to play it. Good. That's my favorite game this year. Uh, Fantasy Life. How are we going to do this, guys? I don't know. I have half an hour. Tops. That's it. I have to go to work. Can we? Where do you work? Barnes and Noble. What do you do? I work at the cafe. Oh. He works at a Starbucks. He works at a Starbucks. I haven't worked at JP Lux in a long time. Why? I quit because uh, we got uh, my ex and I had our boss fired for sexual harassment, and everybody was so mad at us that we had to quit. What? Yeah. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah, super fucked up. You couldn't listen. You brought it up. Your boss was, what, did you sexually arrest her? Uh, yeah, and, like, basically everybody. That's awful. Yeah. Well, good that he got fucking fired. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry that happened. Thank you. Uh, Man, I was, we, really, I was really hoping this, these numbers would help make it a list. Can but, we try something? Can okay. I make a, can we, first of all, can we copy and paste this list in twice? Just, just once, so there's another one of it below. So we don't lose anything editing it. Okay. See what I'm saying? Sure. Yes. Mm-mm. Uh did you do that? Yeah, I did. Right. Now, now just arrange arrange them by the the values next to them. Let's see, just see what oh, happens. Oh yeah, you mean to arrange that will take we, the half an hour t- that I have. Can we just take yeah, can we just take like the ones that are like what when it say 5 and up? Let's um just look at those. No, we want to take the higher numbers. Yeah, we want so, the highest numbers. Okay, so Yeah, so 5 to 10. Okay. Let's say let's see from the top here it's going to be like Titanfall um Dragon Age, yep. looks like Dragon Age is game of the year. By that, by that count. Yeah. Um, you can take off Transistor. That's not gonna. Come on. Transistor and Broken Age aren't gonna make it onto that list. Here's the problem with this very r- mechanical version of doing this. But I, is, I think I just want to see what it, where it gets. Yeah, us. We, I'm not, I'm not dead. I'm not married to this. Whatever list happens, we, yeah, we don't have to make the list based solely on the numbers. But I think it's a good, it's a good way to just see like, oh, one person gave Broken Age like number five place on their list. That's probably not going to make it in there. Okay. Um. Take uh, yeah, it looks like Dragon Age would be all right. So let's take off, take out Broken I'll take Age. Off the I'll take off any, any five. Broken Age and Transistor you can take off. Okay. Come on. Wait, Transistor's a six. Yeah, Transistor's a six. Shadow you... of Mordor is also a six. Cut it's Hyrule gone. Warriors. In uh, Shadow century. of Mordor is a six. It's gone. How many do we a have century now? is a six. It's gone. Not, Hyrule Warriors, Mario Mar- Kart, six. Gone. All right, wait, well, okay, we do we what, have ten? What do we have now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Um... Uh, Legend of Grimrock. Well, let's go by... What, uh, what are the numbers? Smash Brothers. By the numbers, the lowest number right now is Destiny and Banner Saga. I'm those okay are... with both of those going. Okay. 
So now, so this is our list. This See, that was pretty helpful. This isn't the worst list. This isn't as this bad is as what I... Weird <laughs> this is a fucking weird list. I mean, it's a we- This is about. a fucking ludicrous <laughs> list. <laughs> No, okay, so right now, as it stands, like <laughs> Mountain Blade Star Wars Conquest, the a pinball mod arcade, that came out five years ago for for a game that is even older. So you're admitting your number one game of this year should not be on the top ten games of the yeah, year list. Of course list. it should. Be. What? Yeah, wait, wait. just because it was my repeat, favorite wait, wait, doesn't mean rep- I wanted to represent the run button favorite. Repeat that sentence. No, I, repeat I, that sentence. I feel I, I get where you're yeah. Your number one game of the year shouldn't even be on the top ten list. It should be on my top ten list. It doesn't have to be on the overall top ten list. Okay, exactly. Wait now, wait. Does that mean we're bringing back Destiny? No, a, we're bringing wait, back a game that about, I want. Can we talk no, about? No, we're bringing yeah. back a game that I'm you want. Switching out wait, wait. my game. For can we talk about how mind. Keith just did a weird fucking thing? Like he's trying to. I know you're trying to win the list again. I don't know what you're fucking trying to do. <laughs> I'm not but trying like, trying to win any <laughs> list. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to be me. All right, Keith, just do you. So, so you're switching out your ostensibly your favorite game of the year with a game that you liked less this year. We, we uh, yeah. For, I mean, if you guys don't mind on the list, we can have it on you the know, list. You know that's Boom. stupid, All right? right? Let's back up what, what game are you going to switch it out with? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking. Titanfall's on here. This is... No, I'm fine. I mean, if you guys don't mind having it up there, then I don't mind having it up there. I was just doing you the favor I of don't, not having to tell no, I, I mean, I completely agree. It should not be on this list. Absolutely. Okay. I don't mind as long as it's like number 10 or number 9. But... um, Like, Smash Brothers, like, only got an 8. But, like, come on, Smash Brothers can be higher than Mountain Blade Star Wars Conquest. Yeah. It's See, a- I think I think it is a testament to this year, though, that they, we had such an array of games that we played. Like, we had almost fucking 30 games. Yeah. Different. Games like, there were, like, two or four, like, maybe four games that overlapped. I think we ended up having 26 games <laughs> between the three That's of us. Insane. Yeah. That's insane. That's insane. I think, uh, yeah, if I were to switch out, if I were to switch out Mountain Blade, I'd probably put a century up there. That's the, no. let's keep Mountain Blade. Yeah. That's super rude. I'd no, be more, no, and I'm switching it. I'd be happier. <gasps> no! Switching it. You jerk. Don't oh, jerk. now I get it. Ascent. A right. century. Right. It's still okay. dumb. Um, it didn't make as much sense when the S and the C This is getting weird now that I have to turn my, hang on, I'm going to pull it up here. I think it's weird that one of the f- your favorite games of the year that you're putting up there is a game that was made by your friend. It's not that weird. It's not weird. Lots it's wrong. Let, it's what no, it is. Hold, it's hold a, con- on, it's a classic on. conflict of interest. Yep. If this were conflict a business. Conflict of interest. Eh, who cares? If this were a business, which you could argue it is, uh, it would be unethical. It's not. It is. It if, is a business. I swear to God, if we start talking about ethics in video games, I will lose my shit. <laughs> oh, man. I will Did you, lose my shit. Have you been? These are video games. They're fun, and it's fine. Yeah. I... I think I think if as long as we're talking about 2014 as a as a year, we would almost be remiss to not briefly mention Gamergate, which is like, holy shit, what the fuck? Yeah, it's what the fuck, Gamer guys. Gate, Gamergate was my number one game of the year. <laughs> it's the most entertaining thing that happened. Uh, uh, no, there was nothing, nothing entertaining no, about it. Was, that. It was fucking it was terrible. Horrible. The- did you do you what do you listen to every episode of Jordan Jesse Go? I haven't listened to it in a while. Did you? So you didn't like hear the one where they briefly mind. mentioned Gamer? No, Gate? I didn't. It was. Uh, they just said they they said something about um, shit. Wait, hold on. Um, oh, uh, uh, like progressiveness. They were like, oh, you know, how nerds love progressiveness. That's like nerds' biggest thing. It's like loving progressiveness. And then uh, Jordan says, two things nerds love is uh, progressiveness and ethics in video games journalism. <laughs> and then, and then, and then uh, Jesse was like, no, I wasn't talking about those nerds. And Jordan goes like, oh, right, okay, you were talking about nerds, not toilet humans, <laughs> not humans that literally live in a toilet. That's oh yeah, okay, good. Uh, man, that's a good show. I should listen to that show. It's a really fucking good show. <sighs> um, it's been a little while. I've been busy. Um, yeah, it, this is. I'm. There's something on this list that I'm upset that that you guys want on this. I don't know. This seems like a good list. Is there anything that you guys see Let's, that is, was on your list that you would want to swap out another game from your list for? Let me look. No. Hang on. Um, I know that I'm the only like, one that would, that, that would sometimes prefer a a game that I had lower on my list to I, be on the. I mean, you're, you you're, understand, Kyle. You understand I, the feeling of that. I get right? it. Yeah, I do yeah. get it. Like, uh, 
I like almost, I would I would almost switch like the pinball arcade for Destiny, even though that makes no sense, but I would kind of do it. Would you want to do that? Mm, you can do that if you no. want. No. I want to do that. I All would right. re- no. Wait, is Destiny on our list? No. It is now. It is now. What? Yeah. List politics. What do you want? That's silly. What do you want? I kind of want Transistor over Money in the Valley, but don't put it up yet. Okay. Because in a weird way, it's like, I might have, like, my second favorite game was, like, Pinball Arcade this year, but even then, Pinball Arcade is just going to be, like, number eight on this list, or, like, number nine or ten. Right. So, like, if it's going to be, like, eight, nine, or ten, it it doesn't matter that I thought Destiny was the fourth best game, because, like... I would rather going to be lower than what yeah, I thought. I this not, isn't this doesn't have to be your list. This is representative of what you this think is, a This is the run button 10. list. Yeah. Yeah, I would put Transistor on there instead of Monument Valley. All right. Transistor. There you go. We're getting fucking weird. Getting, we weird, getting weird this weird. year. We are getting weird. It's getting weird. I mean, none of us have pants. <laughs> <laughs> got weird to be fair, anything. I do have jorts. <laughs> Here's the thing. For this entire time, we have never worn pants anytime we've recorded anything unless we had a camera pointed at us. Yeah. But like I think just finally, just now after six years, it's starting to get a little weird, guys. It is you a think? little Maybe it's time to grow up. Yeah. Maybe it's time we gotta put on those big boy well, pants. Was... You know what? It also could be because I've got this laptop on my lap and I'm a little sweaty. Hmm. Also you brought Vaseline. Yeah. <laughs> and that made it real weird. I mean, I, I've way, been bringing that. You just don't come enough to know. I, I, I forgot I, the gold bond powder. I, I want to just quickly, uh, one of my other games of the year has been uh, teaching this uh, very dyslexic kid in class. Uh-huh. And he uh, said a thing the other day that just lit up my heart. I asked him to rewrite a sentence. And he said, I quit life. I'm just going to become a slug. I'm going to buy a sleeping bag and a bunch of Vaseline and just scoot around. (laughs) 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 And now he says slug life like it's a hashtag. Like every once in a while. Slug life. I love it. (laughs) I like this kid. Slug life. I had no Uh, idea where you were going with that until you got to and just scoot around. (laughs) 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 <laughs> uh, there was another kid. time he said uh hey mister can we have a sleepover like he an adult mister yeah can hey we- mister can we have a sleepover like an adult sleepover i'll come over to your house with the sleeping bag and vaseline i was like stop stop talking <laughs> oh, <laughs> please God. stop i will How be old fired is this child he's 50 he's 16 now okay so he did i can't tell if he knew what he was doing no i don't think he did okay. in that moment okay he was just talking about slug life yeah he just right. wanted slug life he just wanted to have a slug party <laughs> He probably knew, though. He probably. Knew. I don't think he did. I really. I mean, you have to know him. He's a weird. He's a funny weirdo. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Just uh, change it to a ten. Change the. Add these numbers together. I'm gonna hold on. Are we putting Dragon Age as number one? Yeah. I, I mean, don't know. I think so. Yeah. You should start ordering them. Don't put Dragon Age on the bottom because it's obviously not. Isn't no, that no, a no. Ten? I thought the bottom is number one. You think of it like the inverse of how I think of it. Yeah, me sense. too. Kyle's Num- got it back. No, number one. It goes on top because no, it's no, the no, top no. game. It's a countdown. <sighs> it's a countdown. Yeah, it's All always right. a countdown. It's always guys, a countdown. That's yes. why this reverse numbering thing you did, it confuses the shit out of me. Yeah, me too. Is Titanfall our number two or three game? The Wolf Among Us, huh? Are we sure that came out this year? Yeah, it definitely did. Okay. We sure it needs to be on the list, though. I'm not comfortable with Destiny or Titanfall being higher than like a eight or a nine. Listen, I'm not in this for your comfort, you. buddy. Hey, <laughs> what are you, guys you, are, <laughs> you already said you already said you only left Destiny off your list out of uh, out of spite. So right. you acknowledge that it's at least good enough to maybe be on your list. Well, it's a bad game too, but that's the other reason. It's not a bad game. It's a great I just game. Didn't want to say that. Um. This looks like a list to me. I like this list. This Let's, is a good list. I, this is a good no way. List. This, this is, is a, a great list. list. This, this is a great, great list. list. The order of this list is all it's kinds done. Of it's up. done. This it's is done. the list. This is a good no list. way. This is a good list. No, Titanfall should not be Kyle, number two. Seal it in. Lock it in. It's locked Keith. in. No, no okay. Let's 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 hear him out. Let's hear him out. We slapped five on the locked. Ah shit. Locked in. Andy slapped five on. Andy, I'm sorry. I had your back. We did slap five. We slapped five. I said locked in. He hit. No, no, no. It's fine. Okay, no, no. It's for real though. What? Argue your piece, Andy. No, Titanfall should not be uh, number th- two game of the year. Why? Because it's not. There's not enough game there. Uh, it had almost no shelf life for both of us. Even when you, even like your what was it? Your number three or something? Uh, yeah, I played a ton of this game for three straight months. Uh, two, two and a half, three months. But I like, 
I played so many hours. Of you're it. you're being honest that that was three months of your life. Uh, two you, two and a half. Probably. Two and a half. Okay. But it was like two and a half months. Not a super lot. long amount of time for a game for like a f- big game. No, I spent I like that's I spent probably I, I spent more time with uh with um Star Wars Conquest and maybe nothing else. Also, on the, why are you putting Legend of Grimlock? Grimrock number four when it has more points than Fantasy Life. It has Fantasy less points. Has one less point. That's that is Legend of Grimrock two with nine oh, points. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Yep, messed yeah. that up. Yeah. Two two minus nine would have been negative seven. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Just and in that case, insane. it wouldn't even be on the list. Yeah, it wouldn't even make it. Yeah, uh, it's not that. Can we put? Uh, no. There's something wrong with this. What's uh, this list? Is the weirdest game your, of the year list. Your game of the year is game of the year. It's the. Ge- Game of the year right now is a game that I've not played and also have very little interest in playing. Right. So you've you already got that over me. It's mm-hmm. your game of the year. Titanfall number two, though? Titanfall Are you you're two. okay with Titanfall number two? It's I'm, on your list. I'm, I would give you Fantasy Life number two. I would rather Fantasy Life number two. We than should probably put Fantasy Life as number two. It's uh we locked it in. If the only thing you want <laughs> if the only thing you want is to switch switch two that have tied points. Yeah, that's what I get. want. But if we locked it in. That's nothing. I want You've got that. it up there. I want Neither it. of us have played it. F- Titanfall was on uh, both of our lists, but it was my game of the year, though. It was my. It was. It was your game of the year. And no, it wasn't. It was your second game of the year. No, it was my game of the oh, year. Oh no, you're right. Okay. Um, Andy did something. There we Andy, go. what are you doing? He fucked something up. He broke it. He broke it. He broke it. You f- what do you? Are you Andy? Look at this and tell me if you think you did a good job. <laughs> 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 Let me fix. Uh, Where did you put Titanfall down there for? Dad, Daddy fix. Guys. I got it. No, Daddy I have fix. a laptop and I'll do it. Stop. Everybody stop. No, we can both do it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. We got Ti- it. Titan <laughs> Fall. I have it. Don't worry. I've got it. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's play Google Doc collaboration. Right. Transistor, Essentially, The Wolf Among Us, Dark Souls 2, Smash Brothers 4, Legend of Grimrock 2, Titanfall, Fantasy Life, Dragon Age Inquisition. Like a locked good, in. It's locked like a totally in. complete list to me. Yep. Why are you laughing? What did you oh, do? Oh, you took off something. What's up there? <laughs> oh, he took off Destiny. That motherfucker, he I took it off. I just let it go. <laughs> I, nah. couldn't, I couldn't have done it with a good conscience if we had just left it up. What the... What just happened? What are you doing? Like, this looks like eight people fucking with a Google <laughs> Doc, but it's just Keith. Are you going to finish the des- <laughs> D? The and big then take D. off the Titanfall that's above Destiny. Titab fall. Titanfall. Titanfall. Yeah, get rid of that. All right. Destiny had an eight. Ten. Nine. <sighs> Destiny eight. had like a garbage. Destiny had like It was like a three. seven. Yeah, it, was, it had like three. It was not good. Six. Five. Got it. So I don't know what four, A.S. Century, three, Legend of Grimrock, or Fast Life are doing on here, but the rest of that list is fine to me. One. Boom. That's it. It's locked in. We're done. All right. We're good. This is the game of the year list. Let, let right. me make it pretty really quick. Because you did it wrong. So what do we think, guys? Now that the year is over and the game of the year is over. Whatever. Games are stupid. I have fun with all these games. Um, hey, Kyle. Yeah? yeah? Sidebar. When Keith leaves, can we fuck this list? Oh, in, yeah, right. In the- <laughs> it's no. Kyle and I high-fived. And locked it in. We lock. Wait, we got it locked Locked in. It's locked in. Why don't I have any locked in? Because you're not a part of Run Button. Because you're a flake. I'm not a part of Run Button. How dare you, sir? How dare you? You're absolutely not. Listen, Andy. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Listen, I know. Anytime you you show up here, you get a lot of hostility. Okay. And you might argue that it's because it's the way that we've always been, always, anytime we've recorded anything together. <laughs> but I think, I think what it is, is that Keith and I are upset that you don't value this thing the way we value it because we miss you. I'm here We now. miss being a trio. To be fair, I will say this. When Ke- Andy's here, Andy gets a lot of hostility. But when Andy's here, I also get a lot of hostility. But we That's have true. fun, guys. We have fun. This is the run button is really the story of a friendship rebuilt. I don't think no, so. No, it's a Run button colon. The story of a friendship torn apart. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Asunder. Asunder is the word I was also thinking of. Um, 
That's Cle- kind of heartbreaking. We've been cleft in twain. Cleft? Keith, uh, mm-hmm. or not up. Keith, you're not Keith. Cleft and Andy. Twine. Andy. Uh, cleft in twine. <laughs> cleft in twine. <laughs> A musical journey through the history of... Bob. That's that's basically the title of Keith's Game of the Year list, is Cleft in Twine. <laughs> uh, um, Andy, do you remember... I wish doing Halo a- was on my list. I wish Halo... Yeah, I was expecting uh, Master Chief Collection to be one of those games where I was like, obviously this would be my Game of the Year, but I don't have an Xbox One, so it can't be on my list. But actually, that game was busted. But it sad. couldn't... I mean, it's pretty much better now. It couldn't have been... Uh, I wouldn't have put it on my list because it's not its own. It's not a new thing. It's uh, those old games repackaged. Kyle's put Diablo three on his list three years in a row. Yeah, but it's not like, mm. and it can't. It can't crack the top nine. See now, look what's happening here. I put number one, and it's tabbing it out because it thinks it's the first in a list instead of the last in a list because that's where the fucking number one goes. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen a list made the way that you were describing it. No, no, no. If you've ever oh, read a geez. game of the year list, no. I understand, like, I understand what you guys are saying, like, if it's a, th- if you're thinking of it as, like, an article that you're reading or something, or you're reading it from top to bottom, yeah, it makes sense because it's a countdown, but I think as the video element of a podcast, I think, like, I'm not thinking of it as, like, as some, I'm thinking more of it as, like, a board. But like, that's the direction. Like a scoreboard where we, you would put the winner on top. But, we work but that's, our the, way di- that's down. the direction in which I read. Like right. if I'm looking, at, even when I'm reading in a video element, I'm still reading. This it's thing not. Right. Yeah, it's not a leaderboard. It's a. It is a. It is a slow. You're slowly unwrapping a present, and the present is the number one game of the year. Yeah, you're welcome, Internet. <laughs> we decided. <laughs> this is our gift to you. Arbitrarily, <laughs> that these are the experiences uh, you should have. All right, I have ten minutes before you need to leave. And that means that I have 10 minutes to eat some of your food, Kyle. Andy, do you remember when you did a live stream with us in May and you promised that you would come here to record things locally twice in the month of June? Yes, I did say that. Do you remember how many times you came here in June? Well, listen, what, here's what happened. Uh Uh-huh. Um, what happened in June? Nothing. Did I work a lot? What happened? No, you didn't work. Oh, no. What happened was they put me full time at, at, at the Apple store. That's what happened. Oh, you're still working at the Apple store? I was. Not anymore. I was working at the Apple store till like September. Andy, come back to us. Baby. Yeah, I'm fine with Adam. Yeah. I mean, you what? definitely can't have any of our money. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the one you thing I want to make clear. You enough for well, us that we would start to feel obligated to pay you anything. Hang on a second. Because yeah. if we start paying you money, it means we make less money, and that's not something we can do, because I need money to live. Yeah, I literally cannot afford to pay you anything, so sorry. But I would really, really love if you came to record videos with us. Wait a second. <laughs> that's a terrible proposition. If I was a third, if I was second we, seat We again? could pay for your gas money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I want to be a trio again. Why have you taken this I away be from a trio. us? No, this, we're fine. I like Just because you. I'm the funnier one and you won't be able to do your that, little internet That is true. Anymore. Keith, you should probably get over your jealousy. Of Here's Andy. the thing. Like, that's the main thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm very jealous of Andy <laughs> that he's funnier than I am. A thing that I super believe is that Andy's funnier that's than very I mean, I think big somewhere of you in to your admit. heart. Uh, I think we're funny in different ways. Yeah, we're funny in the way you're funny. I mean, you're definitely not funny in the same ways. Yeah. I'm funny in the way where I tell really good jokes, people laugh at me, and you're funny in the way where people just kind of are put off by you and that you're around. See, I feel like that was a, a backhanded compliment. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of which, you should come see me in the Improv Boston Family Show. Oh, yeah? Cause, Is uh, this for babies? I am professionally funny. Uh, kind of. It's for families. So it's we don't for it's for babies and their parents. We don't talk about sex or swear, which is hard for me. Just so you know, it's difficult. Really? Yeah. It's hard for you to have sex. Well, that's a that? different. It's a different thing. Um, you and your girlfriend. What? Huh? Why do you put quotes? Uh, just because I feel like it's doomed. She's a lot more physical, physically real than your girlfriend, Keith. <laughs> Ouch. To be, to be fair. That's that pretty fucking hard. Bitch. Yeah. yeah, well. What happened I, with that? I thought that was going good. We thought what was going good? With the girl. We The last time that we talked, it was me telling you the story about how I got dumped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had to move out. Yep, I remember. Yeah. Sorry. 
I think you made a super on point joke and didn't realize it. What? <laughs> what? It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I'm super proud of my numbering scheme for this. I think it made making the f- the full list easier than it's ever been. You're by right. Far. You're not wrong. Yeah, that was not as painful as it has been. Yeah. But it was also not as painful because I have to go in like eight minutes. Okay. Hey, Andy, you want to stick around and make a video with me? For what? I don't know. Yeah. What do you want to make a video of? Well, can we just play Mario Kart together? We could do that. Or we could make a video. We could yeah, we could make a video <laughs> together. Why can't I record Mario Kart? Because we have to. You can't do that with Keith because he's family. We're gonna get to that point in like eight years. Who cares? You, I can, this is why you have kept me from playing uh, Fortune Street for years because of this reason. Keith, can you get off your victim seat? Get get into the driver's seat of your life. All right, would you? Do you want me and Andy to, to just play Yoshi's Island and get it fucking over with? <laughs> no, please. I don't, come on, let's play something good. Uh, so a good stream. All right, thank you everybody for listening to the sixth annual Run Button Game of the Year Awards Woo! podcast. This is the, this is what I have to say about that list. That was easy. 